now. Okay. Talk about racism. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we are live again, but now instead of Richard, Jezzer is heirloom. Uh, you know. Kinda, <laughs> yes. It's Hold just going to change me, every, like, every call. Let me channel, channel my heirloom. Get. Hello, everybody. I'm <laughs> we should have that... just kept going with just Josh. That was just... Like, uh, being the only one that could be here. Everybody should have just still stayed on mute. I mean, I'm not going to lie, we've done streams like that before where one, only one person was able to be heard and no one noticed. <laughs> and no one told us either. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> it's like, that there? But, you know, that's the best part. Like, when no one knows that you're live because you're getting the most authentic conversations, you know. Well, we, we had that one uh, Rick and Morty live stream that we did where we sounded oh, like, like where we were all robotic and no one told us for like 25 or 30 minutes. It's like, I think I think they just people were I watching. Just, we had, I think they assumed your voices were just that. We, we had like ten thousand people just, watching that stream. It was fucking insane. Yeah, we had this massive, <laughs> massive viewership. We we're all fucking robots. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> weird. Whoa. So, uh, what what are we live on today, gentlemen? Uh, we are just on YouTube now. Uh, we were on Twitch, but because I had to change the software, I I couldn't get it working as quickly. Uh, to do the dual stream. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll go back to Twitch again. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to be permanently on YouTube now. Um, it, it just seems... Why? Like... Why Why not Twitch? You don't like Twitch anymore? <sighs> Twitch is really freaking lame. Yes. Uh, uh, like, I I, I, I I, don't know what's wrong with Twitch. It, it's just... It's it's a different It's a different uh, audience. Um, yeah. And uh, we're, we're just not getting the views for this show over there. Uh, so we wanted to give it a try here on YouTube, see see if we could uh, get some more people watching us to validate our existence and make us not feel like pieces of shit every day of our lives. Uh, yeah, but, you know, we're, getting so we, on Twitch, you know we're not doing a hot tub <laughs> stream or something. I mean, like I'm getting these suggested Twitch streams on Twitch and it's like, wow, that's a hey, lot of know, booty well, and bikinis. What's going on here? Works, What's hey, it's, you, well. you look at stuff and more of it pops up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, Jezzer, you're 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 on you're live on Twitch, and people are asking you to do bikini and hot tub streams. Oh yeah, all the time. You know, they oh, they okay. want to see the goods. I'd watch. <laughs> I thought that's what you were saying. <laughs> all right, Toku says we're all good now, so great. Everyone. Do we need heard. to retweet this? I already I I already did. Okay. Retweet. Yeah, you know. Re, re, you mean re, 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 re what, What's the what's the what's the? Uh... We are not talking about that. It's 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 Twitter. It will all it will always be Twitter. Like I I like I I don't want to put a time frame on this, but whenever Elon finally decides to get rid of it and someone else buys it, I can ninety five percent guarantee that they'll change the name back to Twitter again. The only I think his I I think his stubbornness is gonna have like he's gonna keep it just because he doesn't want to like you know, be told, oh, we told you so, or, you know, you're a moron or whatever. I mean, I, I guess it depends on how much he ruins other th things or mm -hmm. if, if he ruins other things and how much he needs the money for it. Mm -hmm. Like, like if he can just afford to troll people, then yeah, he's going to keep doing it as long as he possibly can. Hey man, if I had the money, I'd do it too. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of having fuck you money is just to be able to do things and not care that you're wasting the money on it. I was just thinking that's what you do with fuck you money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, as Bryce obligatorily gives us all the finger. Yeah. <laughs> I was, it was this. I scratched like this. I'll, I'll rewind it. You'll see. You're just flipping us all off right no, now. No, I went like it's this. It's fine. I'm sure we deserve it for okay, something. Okay, I'll, I'll rewind. We're on YouTube now. I can rewind it. Yeah, yeah rewind yeah. it. I just watched the replay. Can I? Yeah. Oh, I did. I actually. I did. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's great. Great. It's great. just so subtly the finger. Great, great content we're making here, boys. Uh, Fuck you, Bryce. <laughs> now so, I'm canceled. Yeah, forever. Forever. You're never coming yeah. back from that. Uh, so uh, there was, like, I, th I thought this week was kind of a slow week for, for, for stuff. And then as I was going through putting everything together for today, there's actually kind of a lot that, that dropped this week. There were, like, eight trailers uh, for for different things, there was a bunch of news about random stuff. Um, gonna get the 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 clickbaity one out of the way here though, because uh, it's also kind of stupid. Um, yeah, did you guys did, you guys liked Happy Gilmore, right? Adam, Sa Adam, Adam, Adam Sandler in my movie. Life. You've it's not my favorite Adam Gilmore. Sandler movie, but it's a classic. Yeah, well, it's also because Adam Sandler might be the most un unfunny person I've ever 
come across in my life. I don't, so. you know, I think I think his billions and billions of dollars would uh, beg to differ with you, Bryce. So I, I, he's popular enough. Yeah, it, I mean, look, I'm not saying that he's not funny to some people. He's not. Just not, not, he's not, not funny. To you. He's yeah. not funny to me. No, I, he's I a good businessman. Like, he's I, a good businessman. He's he's not your your palette of it, humor. It's not <laughs> even close. And yeah. I, I totally understand that because stuff like like the water boy, like I don't find the water boy funny. Like there are Oh like, my god. Th- there there's random scenes in it where I'm like, okay, that's funny, <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. But overall the movie, it's it, for me it's kinda it's like year one where just overall I'm just like, okay, I'm kinda done with this. Or Napoleon Dynamite is a better better example. Like I think Napoleon Dynamite is funny, but I can only watch like five or ten minutes of it before I'm like, nope, I gotta I I, I can't I can't I that's, can't watch that anymore. I mean that's fair. Peter, you fat lard, eat your breakfast. That's, I that's, like Hot Rod. <laughs> that movie's funny. That that was Never Andy it. Samberg? That's Ad, A, A, Andy Samberg, yeah. Wait, what was that? That movie's fucking hilarious. Was Adam Sandler in that one too? No. There, there was one with Adam Sandler. That's and, my boy. Oh, that's right. That's right. There was the like he Adam Sandler was or not Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler was Adam whatever, uh his 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 like dad, right? I'll, I'll yeah. I'll say this though. Adam Sandler is smart. He oh, knows yeah. that you know he you know he knows that his stuff's not like comedic gold, but he saves so much money on like casting all his friends and and well, and his. You, uh, ha, not have, wrong. Have you watched? Um, I, I'm assuming this is a no from both Bryce and Shay. Uh, maybe not for you though, Jezzer. A uh, Spaceman on Netflix. Not yet. I it's oh, on it's on yeah, my that watch list. Out. I haven't seen it. Yeah, that that that's on my list. Like because I I like I, his serious stuff. Yeah, I I, I, I like I like the dramatic the stuff. Basketball movie. What was it called? Yeah, Uncut yeah. Gems. The basketball uh, movie it was, was on good. Netflix. Uncut gems. Movie. Hustle. No, no, no. Hustle. Oh, oh, hustle. hustle yeah, I yeah. haven't seen that one. Yeah. That's Sorry, because uh, Uncut Gems was also a ba- kind of a basketball movie, but more about gotcha. like gambling and stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, well, there was a Punch Drunk Love, which was like the first like, like breakout like dramatic role that I think he got. Nominated that was the for, the the was, or, Wes, Wes Anderson, PT Anderson. It was what one, one of those guys? Uh, Not it wasn't Wes uh, Anderson. I think it was Rain PT on Anderson. Me. Rain, Rain on Me with a uh, Don Cheadle. Uh, Paul, uh, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh, okay. Was uh, director Punch Drunk Love. <laughs> to, uh, to, to, Toku apparently is a is a fan of the Water Boy. I like the Water Boy. I think it's high, <laughs> class. I, pr- pr- high quality. For, for me, for me, for me, for me, it's it's ha- happy happy Gilmore and little and Nikki. Madison? No, little Nikki. Like, oh yeah, like, I know like, you, a little Nikki. A little Nikki to me though is similar to how I feel about the Water Boy, but I can watch more of it than I can of the uh, of the of the, mm-hmm. the Water Boy, but. Uh, Speaking of Luis Guzman, yeah, yeah, Luis uh, Guzman. he was in Punch Drunk Love and Sequest DSP. Yeah. That's that we were talking about. So, anyways. Anyway, happy, happy, so happy Gilmore, uh, the actor Christopher McDonald, the the actor that was uh, Shooter McGavin and Happy Gilmore was on a podcast last week, and he mentioned that Adam Sandler walked up to him uh, somewhere. They were at the same place and gave him a script for the water, for not for the Water Boy too, for Happy Gilmore too. Um, so apparently, Happy Gilmore Two is in the works. Uh, we have absolutely no idea. Did you say Happy Gilmore? Happy for Gilmore Netflix. Two, yeah, yeah. probably probably for Netflix. Um, I I'm, I thought that was for sure for Netflix. Is is it? Yeah, he so. he still has uh, he has an ongoing deal with yeah, Netflix. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, yeah. think I don't yeah. think he's ever I it was like, fulfilled was it like that a deal. Like three yet. or four movie. I thought it was only like a three or four picture deal. No, it was way. No, it was, no, it was yeah. way bigger than that. Way yeah. more than that. And it's it's like his deal with yeah like, oh, like like you were ten. saying before yeah it, it, like th- this is just him being able to say where do I want to go on vacation with all my friends like that, exactly that's, that's you know exactly you, you what he can do you know who did that and like probably we don't have any fem- female uh, fans but uh, <laughs> the the Olsen twins did that a lot for their movies you remember they were like just releasing a bunch of movies like New York and Minute, there's one of, and uh, yeah uh, New York and Paris and then there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Australia. That's just their parents saying, "Hey, let's do a family vacation, but how do we make this a tax write off? You know, let's <laughs> let's let's go there." As if they That's exactly what Adam Sandler's off. doing. I mean, again, if we had the money to finance our own movies, that's probably how mm-hmm. I would do it too. So well, I'm I'm looking uh, I'm looking at the the this Adam Sandler Netflix thing. It this is pretty interesting. Like it's three hundred fifty million dollars, and he does basically whatever the fuck he whatever wants he to. wants, whatever he yeah. wants. I mean, as long as they're make, bringing in money, which apparently they are. Oh, and yeah. you know what? He doesn't even he doesn't do even really have to well. star. Yeah. He no, doesn't even he have to star. Just, you know what I want to say? Because Adam Sandler is starting to hit that age. I want to see now that both him and Zack Snyder have a deal over at Netflix. They should 
like combine their efforts team up. Collaborate. together. Yeah. Like I want to see. They should totally team up. I, I want to see an, not the Snyderverse. Yeah. They bring back. They create the Sandlerverse. Yes. yes. Like I I, <laughs> I want to see the Sandlerverse already Adam exists. Sandler I think. And, and Rebel Moon. Right. Like like we, we we've got Bob Odenkirk <laughs> and nobody. So let let's get Adam Sandler too in some kind of sort of like Zack Snyder action. You know, big budget sci fi film. I'm d- I'm down. Nobody. Who did you say the other day should be a nobody too? Uh, Bob Odenkirk. Oh, Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. Tom Hanks yeah. and Bob Odenkirk should be a nobody too. We, we we were just talking about like <laughs> older actors who have switched over to doing the uh, like the action movie type thing, like Liam Neeson did. Because there there there's been a lot. Oh, there, okay. there's, there's been a lot of them. I, I feel like I feel like there has been some Tom Hanks action movies, but I I, I could mean be we, wrong. We, the only one that we recall was uh, Road to Perdition, which. Was it, it was it, more gangster, yeah. not action. So it, there was action. How about, in it. How about Jim? How about Jim Carrey? I mean, Jim Carrey did kick ass Car- too. So I mean, yeah, that's not really. Okay, action. Yeah. I mean, that's not like action. I mean, it's action, but it's not like serious action, like like Taken. Yeah. Well, and Jim Carrey also said that he's retiring, but then is also coming back for Sonic the Hedgehog three. So. <laughs> Yeah, but so I don't know what the hell he's doing, but they probably they probably wrote him a really big check. It's probably what actually happened. Well, yeah, oh yeah, he has to sell the so, whole movie. I mean, the the first two Sonic movies did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, no, I like the saying, second one. I'm not saying because it's Sonic. I'm just saying like because he said he was retiring. You know, <laughs> and well, like that, it's funny you you mentioned Sonic? that they wrote him a really you, they probably wrote him a really big check. What's interesting yeah. enough about Jim Carrey though is that he literally doesn't need any fucking money. No, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. true. ever since he what was that big movie that, that what was the one movie? Um, the number twenty three. Cable Guy. No, it was Cable Guy. No, not twenty twenty three. Uh, uh, K- uh, Cable Guy. Cable yeah. Guy was you know that what? movie that that he got signed on to do, and it was like this massive pay payroll uh, pay for him um, for like anyone speaking, in Hollywood. At the while time. we're speaking on that, that's the movie that needs a sequel, not Cable Guy two. But you know the trial that was going on with Ben Stiller like throughout the movie. We need that as a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. <laughs> He was but, a was, was it, he he was a you I think he was Asian. He was part of an Asian gang or something. <laughs> Just Ben that, Stiller and Ben question. Stiller playing if, both if you, characters. If you're retired, if you're a retired actor and have the kind of bankroll that Jim Carrey yeah. has, how do you get them to come back to to doing a movie if they don't need money? Uh, you make it you, a good movie. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you have to you have to make them interested in the the project so they actually want to be a part of it versus them doing it for the paycheck. True, true. Yeah. Or make it make it so that they're like creatively challenged, I think, is 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 what uh you know, there's a lot of like comedians that feel like, Oh, I can test the waters here, build, you know. Build, build the ego up so that like Yeah, yeah. I, I mean you, you get get them to yeah, challenge them. Like look look at uh uh Picard. Like they they they, br- they brought back they got Patrick Stewart to come back as Picard, one of the main reasons being because they gave him uh some creative control over the direction of the of, of the storyline, so he was actually part of the building process which is something that he was interested in if that had so how did they how did they get him to be part of multiverse of madness <laughs> I, I i mean i think that was fu- i think <laughs> yeah, that was fun no that was a big paycheck right yeah there. that was probably that was probably just them saying hey you want to come sit in a, in a chair yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think that was just because i mean patrick seward is also just that guy like i feel like he's kind of like jonathan frakes where like Jonathan Frakes, you know, he did that like Ripley's Believe It or Not show or what or fact, truth or fiction or whatever it is that people make fun of all the time. Um, oh yeah, and uh, like sometimes I think I think some of these guys are just like, yeah, that sounds like fun. I'm gonna do it. Just, just yeah, and and just for multiverse the fuck of, of madness. Like mm-hmm. the 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 part that he did wasn't wasn't so. It wasn't like an extenuous like. Like you're gonna be on set for like three weeks to film yeah, this. This, yeah, that, <laughs> this. It's at, like you'll be there for a day. Yeah, at most, <laughs> at most, he was there for maybe two or three days, but mm. most of that time was spent sitting in a chair. So, yeah, so, I'm sure he's yeah. like sure. So, so you're you're saying there's no chance we get him in Deadpool three? Oh, he's no, absolutely oh, gonna be in. Deadpool. He absolutely would be in Deadpool three. And, and they, Avengers. They, they, He's he's at the point now where he's doing he's doing the favor the favor uh, uh, cameos. Mm. You know, he, yeah, you like, guys. Hey, you guys remember that one movie? I, I don't even know who directed it. Movie forty three, where it just looked oh, like a bunch like of like these A list actors. Yeah, well, yeah like it, it was. It was supposed to be the modern version of Amazon Women on the Moon, uh, but it didn't hit the same way. Yeah, I mean, how did you get all those people to actually come in and do that? Like Dennis Quaid. Yeah, I, and Haley Barry. Halle Berry. Yeah. There, there are a lot. Yeah, of yeah. Movie forty three. That was who. 
That was uh well, I mean, that's how you get people to come and do it. You look at the directors that were working yeah. on it. Oh. Yeah, he had, he had uh who we get uh, James Gunn, uh Elizabeth Banks, uh Brett Ratner, Bob Odenkirk directed. I mean, it's Damn. just yeah, it's a it's a list of who's who people to get get these people in. There. <laughs> I I walked out of that movie. I just like after the there's like a poop thing. A poop joke or something. I was just like, I'm done. I, I can't. Did you this did you watch the uh, did you see the the Haley Berry one? Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was a little that was like there, there 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 was a whole discussion with her about uh, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to find it. Um, that she she did an interview about it. and Someone was like, How did they get you to do this? And basically, her answer was, I thought it was funny. It sounded stupid. Yeah. They're like, put 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 my boob into a bowl of ranch dressing. Sure, why not? They didn't have to swindle her like they did for X Men Three, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, you know, I what? And X Men was the one where it was like, no, we can't do that. But movie Forty Three was like, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, you, you, you heard the story. They, you heard the story. They told, they gave her like a totally fake script and then like turned it around on her. That's some bullshit. But yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that, that's basically what they did to the 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 Madam Web girls. Is that really? Uh, apparently, they were under the. Imp- they I thought mean, again. It was I you right? Yeah. So I I I don't I don't want to take this with a grain of salt, uh, just because I I don't want to say this and then find out that I had some of my facts messed up. But from the way I understand it is that they were under the impression that it was going to become part of the MCU. Uh, it sounds like Sony implied that the Spider Man stuff was going to kind of combine and lead to them combine. being able to cross over. It, the the movie felt like it was just a kind of like what they did with that Fantastic Four movie where they're just making a movie so they can keep the rights. Yeah. I think that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, most likely. Uh, and they like it's, deliberately did not give a fuck. <laughs> not surprised. See, those are the movies that you take the tax write off on. You make the you make you make yeah. a movie no, to keep the rights. Still not even that. And then you just just you just shelve People it. People worked on it. I, yeah, I so still, should they I release that Roger movie. Corman well, no, Fantastic you Four? You, you tell them you, you're, you're you're like, listen, we're gonna take a tax write off on this movie, so don't expect it to ever come out. But we're gonna give you a lot of money for it. Okay, no, but every it's a movie disserv- is still worth releasing, even if it sucks. Yeah, no. it's a disservice to no. like. There's two. There's two stars yeah. in there that I feel like you know they deserve better. better Sydney Sweeney and oh, yeah. uh, Isabel yeah. Monaire. Like they were, they're both uh, on the rise right uh, now. Merced, Isabel Merced. Is it? Oh, it's not Monair no I think more? It's, I think it's Merced. No, I think it was always Isabella Merced. <clears throat> I th- I, when I when she first came out, when it was uh, Transformers, it was Monair. I don't, re- I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember it's that. But anyways, yeah, said, they, but... They're, they're on the rise. Like, she just got the James Gunn thing, and then Sydney Sweeney's got a bunch of movies coming out. Uh, you know. Wait, 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 wait. So, sorry, sorry. Toku says, I remember the Hugh Jackman chin nuts part. Yes, <laughs> yes, that was part of... It was it was with uh, the maybe I'm gonna have lady, to watch uh, that Kate movie Winslet. Now. <clears throat> yeah, it, watch it was another Kate... thing that's gonna blow your mind about that movie. All those people, all those directors. You want to know the budget for that movie? Was it like five million? Six million dollars. Yeah. Six yeah. million dollars. <laughs> See, and and that that... <laughs> that 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 was a lot of favors being done. But but it's not it's not only that it, it's it's probably because I, I I don't know. Have you have you guys watched the uh, the Weird Al movie with uh, Daniel Radcliffe? That was that yeah. was on uh, yeah. Roku. Yeah. I was thinking UHF. I was gonna... So, so I, apparently that's basically what happened with the pool scene, uh, with the the Doctor Demento pool party. Was they just called everyone that they knew that was in the area? I was like, hey, do you mind coming down to this house to do a scene in the pool where you're gonna be be <laughs> pretending to be this person? Uh, you only need to be there for like three hours, and that's that's how they did it. And that that's how Weird Al does his videos too. Like, uh, uh he said the same thing yeah. about um. I, I don't remember which song it was t- uh, uh, ha- the the Happy Now parody. Um, th- there was like a bunch of people in that, and it was the same thing. It was just like, "Hey, we're shooting at this theater. Just come, come down for like an hour and do this thing for me." And they were like, "Sure," um, but you know, it, as long as they're having fun, who it, like it's one of those things. It, like, who cares? Like, even if I made a movie that was a complete piece of shit, as long as we had fun making it. And yeah. didn't lose a lot of money, then you know I'm I'm not gonna care. It's it, you know it, it's it's it happens. Um, but we were just talking about X Men. Uh, have all of you guys watched the the, the first two episodes of X Men '97? 
I haven't yes. seen that yet because I'm waiting to finish the original series. So. Uh, you don't need oh, to. I, I'm, you don't I, need I'm to. The, I'm you on. Yeah, do not you don't need technically to. need to because yeah. there's yeah, a I lot. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of fluff in the like after season two. Like, there's just a lot of random stories. Yeah, well, and so then, many random. And, well, and yeah. then uh, season the in in the season in the season opener of X Men '97, there there's a couple of huge exposition dumps. Like the, the, oh yeah, there there's big exposition. Yeah, dumps. like I'm, I'm sitting there watching like, it. They shit all over you. Yeah, the and, and I'm like, and you're just like, why didn't you use a bidet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know like I enjoy the original series. There's a lot of good episodes in it. Yeah. But I did. I I forgot that there was a ton of just random stories oh, yeah. that I did not care about. It's because a ton. It's because every stories. everyone remembers the Phoenix Saga and the Dark Phoenix Saga, and even the Phoenix even, even the Phoenix Saga uh, the those the Phoenix Saga and Dark Phoenix Saga. There's they could have like made that a two episode thing. They dragged some of that oh, stuff yeah. out like so much. Yeah, well, it's because it, they they kept on pulling from different like like stories. Story yeah, arcs it was and, so like, much putting it all together, and I'm like. Dude, just see so, one story arc, but so that that was animation on. back then. They were doing for the the big old syndicated packages and like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah, because X X Men was, was X Men only on Saturdays or was that a Monday through Friday cartoon? I, ooh, it, it was I think only it, Saturday or Sunday or was it Sunday? It was Saturday. Was Saturday. Saturday yeah. morning, and it eventually it did five days a week, but that was the after yeah. syndication. Yeah, oh, that's right. So, sun, Sunday but, was the uh the 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 Spider Man, Fantastic Four, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man hour, right? Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 Hey, Br- Bryce, you'll you'll like this. I don't know if you're in in the season yet, but I think it's first episode of season three. There's a Power Ranger reference. Yeah. What? Like legit Power I'm Ranger sure refer- there reference? Po- there was an X Men think... reference in like Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. They were watching Fox Kids. Yeah. I, th- I, th- I think <laughs> yeah. I missed that. Wait, wait, they were which... advertising each other in the show. So wait, there, there's an episode. There's an episode where like this nerdy guy uh stole the like relic that gives Juggernaut his powers. Right. Oh and yeah. He's yeah. he's across the world in another in another country and he uh gets flown up, like he gets thrown up into the air and falls through like a a studio. It's called it was called Bonsai Bonsai Studio. <laughs> and then he lands where there's like kaiju like they're on a set, there's kaiju and then there's like grown sized Power Rangers in it, and then they run Ron, what's what's the, or uh, the guy that made the theme song? He made the theme song for both shows. Yeah, he he mm-hmm. did a little riff, like a Power Ranger type riff, as he nice. landed. That's funny. It. I was like, oh, okay, that's funny. Okay. I'll 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 have, to, I'll have to go back and watch that because I made it. I like I I started rewatching the original series, and then mm-hmm. um, I I just watched the new stuff because I was like, I remember enough of this that what 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 whatever whatever I forget. Uh, I'll I'll remember. Uh, so now I'm just like yeah. currently watching the the original X Men series and the new and the new one. Like I'll probably be able. Yeah, to... you 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 really don't need yeah. to watch the yeah. original series. I mean, you just have to know. Oh, he turned into Phoenix. In, in, in fact, in fact, uh, uh, they they Marvel they, or Disney they released like a three minute previously on X Men snippet, and it goes yeah. through the actual. It, it it shows the actual episode number and title and like describe like what major events from those episodes that mm-hmm. actually have an effect on the story and there's really it actually only ends up being se- stuff from season one and season then, one a little bit of two yeah. and no. then and then it, it was like it was season one and then it jumped all the way to four and five and oh. that was it <laughs> yeah. it was like yeah there there's a lot yeah. of, like, there's a lot of fluff yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. like an episode there's an episode of omega red Going down to a submarine in Pearl Harbor, yep. and it, it none of it means anything. <laughs> no, none no. of it means anything. <laughs> no, it's just yeah, yeah. It's but this but the the show is um, the new show is amazing. I've heard great it's like well, yeah. what, what, what did you answer. think of the uh, the the changes to the intro? The the little yeah. changes like what they yeah, added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because subtle. Cause, cause now, subtle. Now, like it's more or less exactly the same as the original except now you know it's widescreen sub four by three they 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 updated yeah. the character models to look more like the the the, the new the new styles the character models that they use yeah, on the show. Uh, yeah, yeah. did you notice episode two's opening was different than episode one yep they added yeah. their characters and they're changing things up in fact yeah. they added another like additional like bishop scene uh mm-hmm. uh uh in in the episode two and apparently they're going to keep building and changing it as the season progresses wait didn't Bishop left though, right? No, Bishop's still no, there. No, B- Bishop came back. No, I know, but at the end of the second episode, didn't he leave? 
Did he? No, the second episode <sighs> was like a cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, did she have the baby? Now I have to rewatch it. Yeah, she had the baby, yeah. Oh, fuck, I just spoil it for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, well, I mean, I've no. seen it. You, you just spoil it for it. Bryce, not for, not for me. Okay, oh, all right, cool. There's a baby. But we, we, knew, I mean, we knew that we, she was you, pregnant. You know she's pregnant from the first step from the trailer. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah there's a baby. Man, there's a baby. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Stinks, I mean, and like, it's, it's not like we don't know who the baby is already either. Uh, right, so. right, yeah. Freak. The baby is like, Mr. Sinister. That that would be funny. That would be funny. That would be funny. Because there's like um, there's a, there's some stories there where he was like the third Summers brother or something, but he like he's not. So so uh, have you been keeping up with any of the uh, the stupid discourse that's been happening online about X Men ninety seven about Morph? I mean there, there's su- there's stuff about Morph. There's stuff about um uh, uh the this the scene in the courtroom. Uh, when uh, when they're fighting after after the, oh, where people the... are thinking it's January sixth, it's not January sixth. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. Well, I, well, they did call it an insurrection. Yeah, in I the, think in the episode right after that on the news broadcast. I think I I, I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's specifically about January sixth, but I'm sure no, I'm no, no, no. I'm sure that was an influence that they used to you know for it. Like it, it's about that kind hey, of stuff. Just like happening. what they did in the comic back in the nineteen sixties, seventies, and seventies. Yeah. Well, so, so in in the sixties, just so 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 every everyone kind of knows it, how this it, works. But when when the did when you the remember X-Men, the sixties? Yeah, I, I, I do. I do. I <laughs> do. Um, when the X Men were initially created, uh, they the the bad guys and everyone in there were were just kind of they were ran, ran they were just random villains. Uh, it wasn't until Chris Claremont took over in the seventies that all the stuff that you now know about the X Men being um, allegories for the civil rights movements and minorities and uh, everything that's been happening with that is all because of his rewrite to yeah. what the X Men were. Uh, but uh, originally they were a lot more just gen- generic uh Nothing like, like yeah. and, and and they actually were never an allegory or or was it allegory or metaphor uh, uh, reference metaphor for yeah. uh 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 professor x and Charles and magneto weren't malcolm Martin x. Luther king and malcolm yeah. x people just perceive it to be which i can understand why but that it, that was never the intent nor have chris claremont or anybody said They've said no. Mm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I, I understand why, why people think that because, like, yeah. like clear, clearly, the influences on what motivates those characters are similar. Um, yeah, they, they just weren't, they weren't a template for the characters. Mm-hmm. They, they, yeah, not a yeah, template, just, but very similar. They, they, influ- they were influential in their in their development. I think yeah. is the best. There, you know, there's an extreme, there's an extreme, and then there's a like a peaceful uh, mm-hmm. way. Yeah, that, because that that's just re, that's just real life. There's always yeah. the extremists, and there's always the more liberal. Hey, look at that! <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> real world. You okay there? Holy you okay crap. there, Bryce? Bryce is kind of like I just it... had a revelation. You're right. <laughs> I mean, right you, you can of like I've... if you if you actually watch the first season, you're you're already getting a a bunch of it yeah. like early on. Is oh, no, yeah. I'm, I'm making fun of. Twitter. Oh. <laughs> F-O-J. Uh, it's a bit. So uh, yeah. go, going into the chat for a second. Friends of humanity over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, F-O-H go, go, there, yeah. Uh, so Toku, to, Toku says that X-Men 97 was dope. Uh, he didn't remember that the Morlocks were in the original series. Uh, oh, that, yeah, that the was, Morlocks that, were... That, that was one of the bigger... Bi- yeah, that was one of the bigger... Morlocks were like overall. within like... They were like the fourth or fifth episode. Yeah, yeah, they were fucked. They 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 set up Storm and her 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 issues with uh, uh with her uh, claustrophobic yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, order. <laughs> but then I also her claustrophobia. Again, I, I don't want to spoil this for Bryce, but what they the 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 way they kind of shifted the narrative on the Morlocks in X Men ninety seven, um, and not 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 with with uh, uh just making them sewer dwellers but but paint, painting them as you know like these people they're are in victims hiding. yeah they're in hiding because they're afraid of people and it's the only place where they can go to be out. well i feel like they already did that in the they already did that they did yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but but i mean you, you a whole you, like five minute monologue right, for right. them in, in the episode yeah. all the characters. right but that that wasn't that that was uh within their own community like that was not made like a central pillar of, uh, 
you know, like with with Magneto in and what he did. Yeah. Like you, you know, like like there. I don't. Fuck it. Sorry, Bryce. Your earmuffs. Uh, if you don't want to hear this. Uh. So when when Magneto was like, uh, people people can't. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Ma- Magneto uh, uh, made that made that a central issue. He's like, look, you're forcing these people to live underground because you're unwilling to accept them as part of society. Mm. Uh, and then went to the X Men and were like, why didn't with Charles's vast fortune? Why didn't you just relocate these people to somewhere else? You 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 just let them live here in the sewer. Oh, oh to, yeah. To well, Charles, it, yeah. It, it definitely. Yeah, it definitely looks like uh, uh, they're going to touch on a lot of the, a lot of the issues of even the people who are trying <laughs> to do good are doing things that are that aren't necessarily doing the most logical things as well. Yeah, I think they're also uh, going to try or, to retcon a lot of the stuff that happened in the original series so that it oh, makes yeah, more yeah, sense, yeah, yeah. like sending them to Genosha or whatever. Uh, you yeah. Know. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Well, well, and that, yeah, and that, and that, that was that was the whole point. There was, a, yeah. like, why didn't you just do this yeah. from the beginning? Like, in, which is like, which yeah, is yeah, something we yeah. we do in the real world. Oh, yeah. We look at situations that happen. Like, why the fuck did you just do that shit from the start yeah. and wait? It like, yeah, I, like I know, X I know, way to bring whatever. Bryce back into it. Bryce, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, while well, well, he's putting his headphones back on, I'll, I'll go yeah. back over to the chat here. So, uh, mm-hmm. also, T- T- Toku uh, wants to know if we're going to get the Brotherhood, um, uh, just as more f- transformations and also opening shots. I'm not sure what you mean there. Uh, I think, uh, I think I'm, it's ad- talk about the, the the additions to the opening. Yeah. Oh. Bryce. Oh, let, oh, let, okay. Let, yeah. Bryce, let me ask you this: Where are you at on the on the original series? Like, what season? I'm halfway through season two. Okay, so what what is your take? Like, it's really have, having not, you've, um, you haven't seen it before, right? Season one was really good. Like season one. Oh, was season really one's good. great. Yeah. yeah, season two yeah, was yeah. actually just straight ahead, just like solid. There's there's yeah. some good season two episodes. Um, yeah. It, it starts it, to fall apart by like season three. It's because they do so <laughs> many, like uh, the Days of Future Past episodes. Pretty great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's season two. I'm pretty sure that's season two. Yeah. Um. Uh. No. That's that's season one. That's season one. That's the finale. That's season one. What? God. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Then hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, at yeah, season yeah, two. Right. Uh, season two is mostly Phoenix Saga. Sh- uh, Phoenix Saga. Oh show. shit. Okay. I mean. Yeah. The first, actually, the first two episodes of season two are great. Like yeah, those are. Yeah. That's probably my favorite one. Um, because it's a direct, like, continuation of the first episode of season one. And the last two episodes of season two are good because that's almost like a direct continuation of the first two episodes. Yeah, of season two. yeah. <laughs> See, the, the, the pro- everything else is like a fucking filler. Skip the whole season. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mojo. Because Mo- I don't like the all the dinosaur whatever. Yes. Oh, fuck savage the savage. Oh god. Yeah. god. Mojo See, look, the savage. Mojo vision. Fuck Mojo vision. See, I don't when care I, about when Mojo. I, when, yeah, when, Mojo. When, when, when I was a kid, I fucking loved the Mojo vision stuff and the Savage Land stuff, and now rewatching it, I'm like. God, this, this is, is kind of like why did I like this? There like, is yeah, well, as a kid, I probably would have loved it because of dinosaurs. Yeah, but... which, which is why I think like like I understand why when I was a kid I loved that shit, and now as an adult I understand why I why yeah. I'm like this kind of lame. There is a gambit. Yeah, there's I, a I'm gambit one. These... There's a gambit one where it explains his like oh, history. I skipped, I skipped that one though. That, the one, yeah, the, 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 one, the, the one with was... the Belladonna. Yeah. 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 Terrible. I, 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 I watched like oh, geez, the first no. like five minutes of it. I was like, nope. I remember this episode. I'm I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, go past. It's so bad. It's bad. Yeah. Ugh. There's. Look at this just shitting all over. The <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we're not. There's good. Ep- no, there's no. good episodes. Yeah, there, the episodes where they episodes. focus just on the X Men are good. When they start like diverging and like dude, like different characters, like oh god, it's terrible. But so, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so go back to the chat again. Uh, Fa- Fast Plant says, "I really love this new trend of taking old cartoons and giving them more revered ending continuation. I love the new Kevin Smith uh, Masters of the Universe series. I can't wait to watch X Men '97. Uh, I I need to watch the newest season of the Masters of the Universe. I, Revelation. I, I saw I saw the first one. Uh, yeah. The second the second one is in my queue. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, Toku says uh, he loves Magneto bringing up Xavier's resources and using them to better. Yep. yep. Um, like how Batman uh, beats his villains instead of using his money to actually help people more effect- effectively. Mm-hmm, and yeah, mm-hmm. it's exactly the same thing. Uh, he also says that he hated the Mojo stuff even when Nickelodeon did him in the Wolverine and the X Men. Yeah. You know what? Like, I, once I don't you, know once if I remember you... Wolverine and the X Men. 
Yeah, it's 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 on it's on Disney also. But Mojo reminded me of that '90s X Men or that '90s typical comic villain that got such a, got a lot of hype. But then you go and watch, like you look at him and you're like, no, no, like he's cool. But no, he's I don't know cool. what it is about it. Like I like him, but I don't like him. He's not cool. <laughs> one, one thing that one thing that you'll know, like Bryce, you'll figure out also, and I don't know if you guys notice this, is Magneto's not that terrible in the show. Like he's not a villain he never he's not, was yeah he's not a villain like he he's extreme yeah, but he's well, not it, it, a it's, villain. it's that that whole um what what one person's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter thing it, yeah it, you yeah. know it, it, it's all it's all uh based on your perspective of of how like wh whether or not to you the ends justify the means it's yeah what happens i mean when you reach the breaking point yeah. and but you but you still have a sense of morality but is it like yeah, that's moral? what that's that's what that what that's what makes him being part of the X Men now easier to like you know digest because you know he's not really that bad. Like of course Xavier wanted to, uh, you know, have him be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. So. Like like to to me, I, I, I was <laughs> I was saying this to Shay when it went while he was watching it last night. I I just kind of imagined that xavier uh uh knew exactly what i mean obviously he knew exactly what he was doing <laughs> but he was just doing this to troll all of them he's like ah, i'm just gonna fuck with you guys i'm gonna put magneto in charge and he's like psychically there and, still and and i'm just gonna watch you guys like feel like you have to work together to honor me but really i'm just gonna watch and laugh at you <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey and we don't even know if he's dead right like there's there's still a chance. Yeah, I, I mean, that, I mean that's, yeah, that's, that's true for I mean, Wolverine fucking died in the comics and now he's not dead anymore. So, I mean, know. yeah, I mean, Professor X died in the movies. Yeah. And he, and he came they back. brought him back. Yeah. So, dude, he died like three times in the movie. He, I, an yeah. executioner song. He was a, he was assassinated. He was shot in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was still yeah. Came back. One, one thing I love about this new series, though, is that like everybody wants to see like all these heroes, you know, come to life in this animated series and the way that they do it is they do it through morph. Yeah. Yes. Like just have them change yes. into everybody that you've ever want to see. Like there's a, a scene in the first episode where he changes into Archangel. Yeah. And yeah. like he, he, saves he, them. In the second like, episode he changes to like Blob, Psylocke. Uh, yeah. Uh, when, he, when he comes into uh, the fight, he just like switches Lady up Deathstrike. The like he's everybody. So he's I, every, like, I didn't realize if you the want first thing all he these X-Men characters. I didn't realize that he was Lady Deathstrike. Like I saw her pop out. I was like, where the fuck did she come from? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, oh, all, all these people are coming out of the woodworks. No, it's more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like oh, more. That, that totally makes sense. Uh, Mikey Nerd Gaming is in the chat here. It's been a while. Uh, it has been a while since we've been live here on YouTube. Hopefully, this will be a more regular thing now. See, Josh, you you put the show on Twitch, and Mikey can't find yeah, you. Right? No one watches Twitch. I, I, that's <laughs> what I, that's what I'm learning. Uh, At least not the stuff know. that we make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how hard it is to get like to take your audience and bring them to a different platform without properly like doing like a three month or four month transitions like okay we're going to twitch we're going to twitch we're going to twitch well, that, that, that's it, why i wanted to do the multi-streaming with with having us live here on twitch or on on youtube and twitch at the same time figuring okay we can find the cross the cross audience and figure out where people like watching us better yeah. um so ho hopefully next week i'll have the kinks worked out from from the uh the, the multi-streaming thing and we'll be able to do that uh but we'll, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. see i mean gaming stuff here on youtube is is popular too so i mean we don't that's what I've been telling we can just you. Do that here. I've been telling you it's it's less it's less uh, like there's so much not I don't want to say competition but you get you get drowned by just everybody yeah. else playing on Twitch. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's weird. It's like the, the the biggest problem that we have. Especially if you're streaming something like Fortnite, you yeah. know, like nobody's ever going to see it. You know? I, I mean, yeah. I feel like the the biggest problem we have to kind of, kind of you, to use one of Joe's 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 terms that he really likes to use to pull the curtain back a little bit. Uh, the biggest problem I feel we have on the back end is uh, making sure that when like when I'm available to do things, other people are available to do them, too. Or when other people are available to do them, I'm available is, or whoever's available. It's getting our schedules to work with each other so that when we want to do stuff that necessitates multiple people, we can actually do it versus being it's like, OK, e it's going to be easy for the three of you for but sure. Yeah, wait, like, wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, once Bryce months. comes out here, we'll just be able to go <laughs> knock on his door and be like, get the fuck out of here. We're going to stream. You know, like I feel like I feel like yeah. it's like right now. I mean, for two of you, it's fine. But once the three of you are in the same room, 
Like I was like, why are you guys going to use so many resources for for three different streams? You guys could be in one room, oh, you know. Yeah. And well, well could... Bry- Bryce Bryce is going to be <laughs> living in the studio, so you know it's it's just, it's just how it's going to yeah. work. We're just going to walk. Oh in and man, just, Bryce! We're just going to turn the stream on, and even he's not on, and while he's sleeping, <laughs> just, just, like, just a man. heads up. <laughs> Heads up, Bryce. There's only there's only one outlet that works in that room, even though there's like four <laughs> different ones throughout the. No, wait, throughout wait, the hall. Wait, wait, only one of them. Works. We, we actually got them to fix two of them. I, I, yeah, so I, yeah, I think they fixed, they fixed two. Of them. Yeah, I think there's three outlets that work in that room now. Yeah. Okay. So, good job. X Men ninety seven. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of controversies that came out from X Men X Men ninety sevens as well too, that people are complaining about, and I didn't see anything wrong. Say, okay, go ahead. What what are they complaining about? I don't know about the wokeness of X Men ninety seven. Well, uh, that's well X Men has always been woke. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the series. The series specifically has never been shy about it being overtly anti racist and anti feminist. Yeah, or anti anti feminist. Anti misogynist. Misogynist. Yeah. No, the thing that gets Pro-feminism. me is the morph. The yeah. morph contra. The, the morph controversy where like people are mad about him being like non-binary but like when you can change into multiple different people different genders yeah. like it makes sense it, I mean, like, were they uh, mad about loki in the mcu but yes no. yeah. i don't know well, people were were they people people were yeah i this uh, but For like but, two weeks but it, it was the same people that were upset about it but i i think oh, the, the same like five percent yeah of, i think of, of a smaller community <laughs> I, I i think the issue is that back in the 90s there wasn't really a name for it uh so it just ne- it never came up but now now that non non-binary is has like taken a a hold in our language and that we actually have a term to describe that thing that has gained popularity they could be like look this is who morph is even though that's who he was before we just yeah didn't define it then Oh yeah, like at at some episodes he was like, uh, he turned into Jean Grey and was making out with Wolverine yeah, at yeah, some point. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like come, come on. <laughs> He's like, this is where you draw the but, line. You just forgot see, that that's more. See, that was fine because he was just joking. It, it, it's, I, it's 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 this it's this weird. People just have these like weird as things. Long as he just, yeah, wouldn't he just like, be joking okay. now? Right. Yeah, that I I don't yeah. I I don't understand it. Like it's like just... are are they angry that him and like Wolverine have like a good friendship? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the the way I see this is like this is miles and miles better than anything you know that and the MCU's put out in the last two phases. Like I don't know, I, I I enjoyed the Marvels. I thought I thought I thought it was fun. Oh yeah, I mean it's fun, but the villain sucked. The villain was terrible. Yeah, the qu- the quality of the production still aren't on the level as the original Infinity Saga. They they've they've yeah. gone down a lot, which we know it has. Their budgets have been yeah. reduced, and their production yeah. quality. Is- I mean, just because X Men ninety seven is better than the rest doesn't mean the re- all of the rest was. Better. You know, I mean, it just mm. means that it was better than the rest. Yeah, you know? yeah, and, and it means the rest I, all and, suck and compared to this one. I'm saying that you know, <laughs> not everyone I'm is not like a huge fan of four and five. Good years, or bad, you know, people have spectrum. But, but Most I mean, we still did get Guardians. We still get, did get No Way Home. Um, you know, Shang Chi was really good. Um, Moon Knight, I liked. Um, I thought mm. Hawkeye was well done. I liked Echo. Um, Eternals, so good stuff. If, I didn't like if, Eternals. I, I mean, if, Eternals was if kind of MCU mid. had if MCU had if MCU had the X Men like early early on, they would have ne- never made the Eternals right now. Oh, yeah. Like they would oh, make yeah. that. So, uh, yeah, so they would uh, never te- te- Tech Ninja Production says that uh, people nowadays will always find something to complain about. That is absolutely true. It doesn't matter what your ideological beliefs are, you're going to find something to complain about with something just because that's how yeah. that's that, that that's why yeah. that's what social media I feel that's what social media has done to us. Because every uh, the only people it but it's it's the same as like, you know, uh was it Yelp? The people are really only vocal about the things that they don't like. You don't hear like, if they like something, they're less likely to talk about it than if they have something to complain about. That's just, that's just how people uh, work. Fast, fast Plant sixty four says, "Wow, Quantum Mania hater." <laughs> yeah, it was garbage. Dude. That was a garbage okay. movie. <laughs> I I know I know him in real life, and <laughs> and he loved Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania was garbage. Damn well that you don't like Quantum Mania. <laughs> so shut the fuck up with that shit. <laughs> That's funny. Quantum Mania was horrendous. Like seriously, I think the worst MCU film I have seen. 
Uh, uh, I mean, maybe not uh, the worst. There's Captain you know? Marvel. Uh, uh, Captain, I, oh, Captain, I, I like Captain Marvel. I thought Captain Marvel was good. Captain Marvel looked like a fucking masterpiece. No, like, it's Captain, like, Captain Marvel's <laughs> like, like, like a boss fight at the end was terrible. Like oh, she God, just that whooped was so his bad. ass. That was so bad. I, I, that was so I bad. Mean, that, that's. <sighs> I, I feel like it was anticlimactic. It was just like, oh, I feel like if I said that every movie that had a shitty villain or a shitty third act was bad, that would eliminate like 90 percent of the movies that come out. I mean, it kind of mm. sucks when you can't close up your movie in a good way and you're just kind of like, oh, that was a mediocre ending. And it's like, yeah. you're like, Whoa, oh, but, <laughs> and have we have we for, have, like have we forgot Ed that never finish the hierarchy? Ever. Have we forgot the hierarchy of like the powerful <laughs> mutants or whatever is like. And at the end of Secret Invasion, freaking Amelia Clark yeah. is du- like yeah, she's, she's super scroll. she's OP. Yeah. She's super yeah. OP. Like she yeah, can beat anybody. No, it's still the same Secret thing. Invasion, Secret Invasion is the worst MCU anything I've ever seen. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I, I, I feel like there's I, more. I, I don't know. I, I feel like we're forgetting that Black Widow came out. Black Widow was fine. That's not MCU, that was okay. It? It's, it's MCU. Yeah. I thought it was just Sony. The Spider Man oh, black, No, Black Widow. Black Widow. What are you? Oh, Black, black Widow. Widow. Black Widow. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, uh, Madam Web. I apologize. Web. No, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, it's a uh, it's bad. Not, bad, bad, yeah, bad. Not great. But Black you know. Widow's fine. Uh, I like Black Widow. Uh, and it sounds like <laughs> a you problem. Okay. Hey. I, I just... Taskmaster suck. Taskmaster is like pretty badass. Taskmaster wasn't that great. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just I, I. I don't know. I. 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 I had issues with the not 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 the setting, but like the 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 time period that took place and how like how it, I felt like Black Widow would have been better if it had taken place after the blip, and mm. uh, the bad guy was trying to take. Pa- she was dead. That she she was dead after Endgame, not. Uh. uh Oh, Infinity War. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. I, 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 yes. yeah. I, I get what yeah. 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 Like, I, I feel like it should have taken place in, in the five years in, in between yes. uh, that the would beginning. Have been cool. because, because then the bad, the bad guy would have been trying to fill the power vacuum that was left by all the other bad guys being blipped out of existence. So that, that would have made sense. That, to me, that would have made a little bit more sense. But do you think, you know, do know. you think that there's a, a possible way where they can take this X Men 97 team and make it the MCU's? X Men team. That'd be kind of lame. I really hope they don't um, do that. <laughs> I mean, w- would you would you age them up for the MCU? Because like, if this takes place in ninety seven, that means that they would all have to be like almost thirty years older. Well, I mean, isn't Fantastic Four like they're in the sixties also? Yeah, but the, specifically with them, Maybe. that's uh, yeah. I, I I'm assuming they're going to time travel through the quantum realm, or have time travel through the quantum quantum realm which again granted the x-men could also find a way to, to time travel or whatever yeah um yeah but i mean bishop is on their team yeah already, I, I, so. I feel like I, I just don't want them to overdo time travel that much and with with having the fantastic four and having endgame that just did it and now with bringing all of the multiverse also, stuff not in everything has to be connected yeah you know like in my opinion you know i i think it, i think uh, the, one of the cooler parts about x-men 97 is that marvel's finally doing some stuff that you don't have to watch like a like fit forty films to understand. That, that's, you know? Doesn't X Men always have to stay in that same like time frame though because of oh no that's what I'm saying yeah no oh well, yeah no, they, that's, they, they don't that's have the question, to though. because uh well at least in the comic books I was gonna say they had to because of the origins of Professor X and Charles uh, uh and and Magneto. Magneto is from yeah it was from like the forties um but apparently when they died their their bodies were. That that's why Magneto and Professor X still look the same age is when they died and they went back into like reseated bodies of well well, whatever, well no or, Magne- or younger bodies or Ma- something Magne- like that Magneto, Magneto did, right Magneto was transformed into a baby and then ra- yeah and, that's right, and then that's like right, rapidly right. aged again <clears throat> until yeah, he was like yeah. like thirty or something I think yeah they, like I they, yeah, it was, yeah it was there's some just like weird like there's shit, weird shit. Like and then and then Xavier just died and then his body was reconstituted or something. Or he, or he was in a, like a clone spot. There, there's been so much of that. I don't. Did they? Well, in the movie, and... he had a twin brother. <laughs> right. And he put right. His consciousness, like he had a twin brother that was brain dead, and then they put his consciousness into the twin brother. And his twin brother is also a uh, paraplegic. Yes, I think so. That's a weird. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. <laughs> well, I, well, he's paraplegic because of his powers. right? No. So, oh no. Well. 
Because it was like I think it, I, in it dep- future, it depends. In first class, he got shot. Yeah, and in, in, in first right? class, he got shot. But in oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. But but even but even then, um, like because in Days of Future Past, he was able to. Wa- oh no no, the, in, in day, he likes the in, no in, yeah, in, in, day, in Days of Future Past, he was able to. He, he he, the there was the drug, but the drug suppressed had the side effect of suppressing his mutant ability. So he was able to walk, but he couldn't use his psychic powers anymore because of the drug. Uh, it's not that they were linked. It was that his, him being able to walk was linked to his powers, I guess. Because Wait, it is very Yeah, weird. I don't know. But but then the cartoon, there was a the whole thing with Savage Land where he was able to walk in the Savage Land. And they I, I don't think they ever really explained that. Cool. Yeah. So Magneto and Professor X are somewhere in their hundreds. Yeah. In the comic book. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they they age slower because they're omega level mutants or what whatever. Yeah, but so it's like no, green, no, not right? it's yeah. not. They don't age slower. Um, it well, uh, Professor X, like we said, has been put into another body, and I guess it says Magneto has done a lot of de aging and experimentation on himself. Mm. Um, I mean that that kind of uh, tracks. Uh, de aging rays and cloned bodies he's inhabited has kept him. Uh, maintain and go. Just say magnetism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's you, master you know. of magnetism is just yeah. But yeah, it's fucking so weird. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. They have they have a they have a hard task for the MCU to like bring the X Men in and still have their stories kind of. Yeah, yeah. like I have I have faith that they'll be able to figure it out, but I also have like a, you know there's that little piece that's like yeah they're gonna fuck it up. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, to- to- Togu is asking. Charles isn't Omega level, right? I I thought he was, but maybe he's not. No, uh, I think I think Gene is. Gene, Gene is. Storm is. Stor- well, well Storm they considered is. Storm is in the animated series, but yeah. I don't know if she was uh, uh, Omega in real life. Wasn't Storm like, <laughs> in, in like real life? trying to classify her as a god? I mean, in, in the co- yeah, in the comic book. Like they're trying um, to classify Storm as a god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Omega level mutants. I've got j- just a, a list that's coming from fandom.com. Uh, Monarch, Iceman, Elixir, Marvel Girl, Jean Grey, uh, Legion, uh, Magneto, Magneto Proteus, Proteus, Mr. M. I don't know who Mr. M oh, yeah. is. Storm. Storm, Strife, Exodus, Kid Omega, Powerhouse, Vulcan, and Hope. But yeah, I guess I guess Xavier is not. No. Xavier is not uh, powerhouse. Frankly, Richards. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, the storm and Reed said uh, that's um, not storm. Uh, Reed and uh, storm. Mr. Ooh. Fantastic. Um, that's that's the the their mutant son. Yeah. Yeah. Power powerhouse mm-hmm. is his name. What a lame name. Well, then then <laughs> there there's Nate, Nate Nathan Summers of Strife. I th- I, th- I thought he had a different name. Strife. Nate Summers. I thought he was X Men. Yeah, that's who I thought there's- he was. There's Nathan Summers who is Cable, and there's Nate Summers. Oh, or... right, right. Nate, Nathan Nathan Summers they they have listed here is Strife. Uh, let me click on that and see who. Yeah, Stri- Strife is uh, Nathan Summers is a uh, uh, the uh, clone or of Cable. I uh, maybe uh, there, there's so, there's so much. I think. Uh, uh, well, Strife is the one who caused the assassination. On Strife Professor is a X. Strife is a, a clone of Cable, I think. I, yeah, I believe it's a clone of Cable. So, yeah. Um, Larry Newbill, what's going on, man? It's good, 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 Cab- good to see you in the chat there. Hey, wait, Bryce, you're gonna you're gonna love this. Cable is the son of Scott Cyclops and Madeline Pryor, who is the clone of Jean Grey. <laughs> so it's not. It's not Gene. It's not Gene Gray's kid. But oh, technically, shit. it is. <laughs> it uh, technically, it technically is. But she's not the original. Yeah, Ooh, it's, he's a clone. No, no, Cable's mom. Oh, 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 Cable's mom. Yeah, yeah. There, there, but, there's, there's, but, yeah. Uh, fa- Fast Planet uh, makes an excellent point here. God, comics are so weird. Yes, <laughs> like, yeah. like it's just. But, that, but Nate Gray, Nate Gray is the son of Scott and the real Gene Gray. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Could be so they are doing the Madeline Pryor. Okay. <laughs> spoilers. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not spoilers no, no, if you yeah, read the yeah, comics. Yeah. 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 That, that's I, yeah. That, that's really why I don't mind like spoilers for the MCU stuff and and like like these kind of cartoons. I'm like, yeah. I'm this is all enough. just. 
I well, just well, how do you them over with everything? Holy at, shit! At the, okay. At the, at the end of the second episode, you got you got like a the reveal, right? Yeah, yeah but it, it didn't occur to me. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Until now. So okay, so let's 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 move on to. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so Bryce, so Bryce, yeah. like you guys so are Bryce fucking up the whole show. For about this this whole uh, do we want to talk about trailers or some of the gaming stuff? There's, you mean uh, Beetlejuice? The I, only trailer trailers that matters. There, 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 on yeah, there's there's, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of trailers. We've got the trailer for the Acolyte, uh, Star Wars. Okay. Um, it it looked for me like yeah, it's kind of cool, but it didn't look like Star Wars. I don't know, like it felt. What? It looks the most Star Wars. Like <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm saying with. yeah, I'm like, saying like. Just the way it was shot, like it, it looked, looked like. To me. I mean, totally, it looks kind of, <laughs> yeah, like I, I haven't watched Andor I don't think yet. Can make it look more Star Wars if they try. Like, like uh, to, to, totally in the way it looked, it reminded me of like a cross between like like Rogue One and Andor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that makes sense. At least maybe in the story, I think it looks freaking awesome. Well, because they're because like, they're setting like it. All the martial arts and everything that they got them do, like the Jedi are actually like we actually get to see the Jedi be Jedi. You know, I mean, well, of course we got to see that a lot in the prequels, but but I feel like this is like wait, when were like, they never okay, Jedi? What if we got a live action Clone Wars show? Like this is what I this is why I feel like this would be like. And this know? is and fi- I think that's what awesome. fifty years before Phantom Menace. Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Or Phantom Menace. I thought yeah. it was like a hundred years. Yeah. Um, Time goes by really quickly because there's red lightsabers and there weren't supposed to be Sith for six thousand years or whatever. Yeah, but it's like, can we just like wait? wait but but figure but out what's going on? But also in like, in we, the in if it's fifty years before Phantom Menace, there definitely fucking will be red lightsabers. But also in <laughs> in the Phantom Menace, there's they a dual red lightsaber, <laughs> and we clearly heard them say, "Oh no, there's no more Sith." Like they didn't fucking believe Qui Gon fought Darth Maul. They're like, "No, that's not real. You're lying." And it's like, bro. They gaslit them. Yeah. They, yeah, they, they gaslit them. So clear, like, and literally clearly, they gaslit them too. Clearly, the, the Jedi don't know everything. Yeah. I don't think nerds know about their own fandoms as much as they think they do. But it's a pro- yeah. it's a, so it's approximately a hundred years before Episode One. Oh, okay. approximately. Still. Approximately. Yeah. So then, well, and like, like, what are the Jedi gonna do? Didn't like, they like just there's, did, there's didn't they say that fight, Sith were you know? around be- six thousand years before or some shit like that? I don't know. Like, like the Sith had been extinct for some well, time, well, and and I, I think it was like a thousand years because, like, w- uh, even though it's not canon to the Star Wars cinematic universe, um, uh, uh, was it Knights of the Old Republic? Like Darth Revan and all that kind of stuff. That was three thousand years before the uh, the original trilogy stuff. Yeah, but in Phantom Menace, I distinctly remember Darth Maul say, saying, "Will we finally reveal ourselves?" Which means that they're in hiding. Well, well they they, they were they were in hiding, like him him yeah, him and Darth. Well, I, I think what other people Sidious. are saying, like like clearly, like their Jedi are fighting somebody with a red light. Yeah, yeah. So clearly, they've been found. Yeah. And so, but we don't we don't know. Like they could all die. You know, we don't know. We we don't even know if this is a Sith. Like I don't think you have. You don't have to be a Sith to wield a red lightsaber, right? So, no. um, like, like I could just go pick one up. Ray picked up a red lightsaber. Yeah, and I like Jedi. when nerds get excited but, and upset. Over but I mean, also on top of that, we logic. have uh, 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 the, the 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 attack of the clones where uh, Obi Wan Kenobi goes to goes to Genosha, but before he goes there, he's like, someone deleted a planet. So clearly, the Jedi again. The Jedi don't know everything that other Jedi are doing because one yeah. of the Jedi's deleted a planet from their database without anyone noticing. Fast Plane said one thing that prequels actually communicate clearly is that the Jedi are kind of naive. So yes, yes. It's, exactly. So it's so, it's it's canon so that they're like, naive. Well, yeah, and and like like jo- Josh actually brought up a fantastic point. Qui Gon fought Darth Maul. Went to the Jedi Council and say, "Hey, the Sith are back. I fought the guy." And they're like, "Nah, nah." Like, you know, it's so like, nah. like, yeah, the Jedi are stupid. So, so even if this 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 villainous figure is a Sith, you yeah. know, 
they probably just won't believe it. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> and, and pe- people pretend like that's not like a common thing in movies or or but fictional they're not media. Canonizing yeah, the prequels. like like that's what people are saying. They're like, oh, they're decanonizing the prequels. No, I don't like, think no, so. Not. I didn't see like, any decanonizing whatsoever. Yeah. It's it's uh, people are just and we and we don't we don't know what happens after that this series right we don't know if like there's another big gap where that's that's where the Jedi Council like you know distinguishes all, oh all yeah this, they've been everything gone. is all just based off assumption and yeah and uh, overthinking it, it, it it's it's just <laughs> people being stupid um what what did you think of uh, Carrie and Moss like it, you know granted we only saw her for like five seconds but looks great. Awesome. Yeah, I, I was like, I was tripping out at first. I was like, wait, is that? Yeah. <laughs> like as soon as I saw her, like, I was fucking... like, oh shit, she's the one without being the one. Like, is is <laughs> is is is, uh, is Trinity jumping from from Matrix to Matrix right now? She looked she, like, look, she looked better in this than she did in that last Matrix movie. Dude, yeah, that movie was awesome. It was. Th- there were parts of that movie that I liked, but yeah, overall, I was I was kind of disappointed in it. Yeah, I don't. I, I liked I liked what they tried to do. Yeah. So they couldn't but, get Lawrence Fishburne. That's why they cast the other guy. I don't understand what's I, going on. I, I don't. I don't. I don't remember what the what the deal was with bringing him back. I think they just wanted someone younger to be able to do more of the action type stuff. But I think it was more just them sticking it to Warner Brothers still, or or that. Yeah, just the same way. I don't know. As that whole movie was them just giving mm-hmm. a big f you to Warner Brothers. I'm. I, I'm kind of excited for this entire cast though. Like uh, Amanda Stenberg. Yeah, the acolyte looks. I. Uh, awesome. uh, is is really great. Manny Jacinto from The Good Place. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like he he's this Daphne Keen. Uh, she X twenty three. Uh, she was also in uh, uh recently. I uh, was it? his Dark Materials on HBO. Um, I don't I don't know who Charlie Barnett is. Uh, Jody Turner Smith is another one I know though who I'm I'm really excited to see. Uh, Juna Su- Sutamo. He was uh, uh Chewbacca in Rogue One. Or, or not, not, not Rogue One. Uh, Han Solo. Well, he right? he was Chewbacca ever since Peter Mayhew died. Ha, has yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. Well, since I think Chewbacca since, since uh, uh, episode uh, uh, Force Awakens. seven. Yeah. I said. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For, Force, Force Awakens, Awakens Last Jedi. Force Awakens, yeah. No, no. It, they, they they both did Force Awakens. Yeah, they both. They both did. They both did. They both did it together. Yeah. 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 Well, they're, they're, but then, but then after Force Awakens, Peter made. Yeah, there were. I, yeah, I don't yeah. think he died yeah. yet, but he stopped. Doing there were. Yeah, he he stopped doing it. There, there were there were three of them in the Force Awakens. It was a uh, uh, him, Peter Mayhew, and Ian White, and then Last Jedi, Star uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, and R- Rise of Skywalker were all were all uh, Jonas jo- Jonas. Yeah. Jody, but there's a Wookiee in the trailer, so I'm assuming yeah. that's too. Yeah, funny. yeah. Jody Turner Smith. I want her as Storm. Jody Turner Smith. Her or Dewanda Dewi or De- Dewanda. Dewanda. Dewi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, jo- Joe actually got Dewanda to talk about that at the uh, the red carpet for Imaginary. Um, yeah, that'd be. She'd be. She'd actually be great. But Jody Turner Smith would also make a great yeah. Storm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think she'd be good. Uh, let's see. What's what's next on the list? Uh, Alien Romulus. Are you, are you are you guys I, alien I, fans? Like, do you do you I like the alien yes. stuff? I haven't seen all of them, but it's cool. Alien Robulus. It looks like it's going back to basically Alien. That's good. The the, the first one, just I straight did, up. I I did like Predator versus or Alien versus Predator. Those movies are fun. I didn't like the second but one. It, I like I, I like the first one. Just, I didn't like the second one. They're, they're bad fun. They're bad. <laughs> like, 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 I love like like, like Jason X. Yeah, I yeah. love Jason X. Yeah, like, uh, to- Toku. those are the movies that suck that you love to watch because it just it's just hilarious. So, so Toku's asking about the Wookiee that we see in the trailer. He says that the the, the Wookiee is supposed to be a Jedi. Um, accor- That'd be cool. According to the Wikipedia, uh, it, the, the Wookiepedia, yeah, the Wikipedia, uh, his name is Kel Naka, and yeah, he's a Wookiee Wookiee Jedi uh, who lives a solitary Whoa. life. That's cool. I'm I'm down for that. Uh, I I don't I don't think that the Alien Romulus trailer like really gave us enough information for me to be excited or not excited for the movie. Like it, it, like aesthetically, it looks cool, um, but I I need to know what the story is, like before I can really give a like an honest thought about it. What what okay? Each Alien movie, what was the story? Uh, Alien. There's an alien. <laughs> the, 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 the first movie. What was? Well, I mean, story? I mean, it's them trying to avoid being turned into aliens. Well, it was always what Wayland Yutani was 
was basically planting these people in a ship with an alien so that they can secretly transport right but the, the but alien. that's that, that that's the plot not the story there, there, there there's a difference like there, there's the over there's the overall like what what what's actually happening in the movie and then there's the inter- oh, like like yeah. the, the actual like storyline and and how and how it's playing out um you know like i liked i like the idea of the plot for batman v superman i just didn't like how it was executed in the story like there there's so a little bit of it. Oh, difference. I didn't even like the plot. I mean, the plot even was just. I mean, the plot. I didn't like the plot either. I didn't like it. I mean, the plot. It's supposed to be Dark Knight Rises or whatever. So, but... Sort of. I. I just. I. I mean. I. I don't. I don't want to go off on a whole tangent of Batman v Superman because I could do that for like hours. But oh, this is perfectly fine. Yeah, it, it, I just it, think. Just... I just think that Zack Snyder didn't like Superman. I just don't think he liked writing Superman. I. I he doesn't understand Superman. He doesn't understand Superman. I. I, I think. Zach, yeah, and it still only worked because Nolan had more influence on it. I think Zack Snyder sees himself as like a Ryan Johnson, like subverting expectations type person, but he's just oh, fuck that. he's just not fuck good at that it. Shit. Fuck and that it's more shit. just like shitting on expectations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck <laughs> that shit. Like him Man of Steel set the pace, set the tone for the whole Justice League movie, and it's it, it was dead on arrival, even though yeah. we wanted it to work. We wanted it to work. Like like the yeah. cast was great. We wanted it to work, but oh, the cast was like perfect. Yeah, but it just, it, it just he did like picture. Perfect. If you don't understand Superman, you don't, you're not gonna understand the Justice League. You just won't. Yeah, you won't. Because Superman's like the core, of the heart of yeah. the Justice League, and like what they anybody I, can understand Batman. Anybody I, 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 can understand I mean, Batman. You know, like I don't, I don't, I don't mind Elseworld stuff either, because like, like, like Superman, Red Sun, uh, like, like that, the, those kind of stories, they're fine. But I, I feel like that's not what, like, if you're creating a cinematic universe. You, you don't be, start in the middle. <clears throat> yeah, you, you don't. don't. You don't start with an Elseworlds version of the character. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't start with the Elseworlds. <laughs> that that you don't that's start with that. that's supplemental. You, you like you you go and you do the Crisis on Infinite Earths, and then you jump into the Elseworlds stuff. And you're like, hey, look, uh, Barry Allen fucked up the timeline, and now we have Superman who was born yeah. in Russia instead. Like, yeah, <clears throat> exactly. Like that that yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that that that's that I would have been fine I would have been fine with that I just didn't like them doing it like right from the start even though I liked Man of Steel I thought Man of Steel was fine uh, you know what Fat, yeah. Fast Plant says that he he liked uh, Fede Alvarez's Evil Evil Dead uh, so he's he's ex- he's excited for the new Alien movie I liked the way Fede Alvarez's Evil Dead looked I, I I wasn't a huge fan of how it actually turned out though is that the one with the <laughs> The girl, like in the woods, and yeah, it was. Ba- it's, it, it's, it was ba- basically yeah. Role, like yeah, it was basically. I wasn't a huge fan of that. It, it was basically a gender swapped remake, like that. That oh. it, 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 it was fine, but it just wasn't. I, I personally, I just didn't think it was that great. I yeah, it was literally just the, the first film to work. Yeah, like you know, I like, I that's all it was. I did like the newer one though, Evil Dead. I, I, Evil Dead Rise. Yeah, I love Evil Dead. I, I wouldn't say yeah. it was the, like the first one but yeah. worse. I would say is the first one just not funny, mm. and campy. They complete all. All the camp was first, completely but... gone from that first. Yeah, one, the, the the first remake. Well, which is what made Evil Dead Two. I think. So good. I think it was an age, <laughs> it's an age where like oh let's make everything dark darker and grittier. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah, it was it was a product of its time. I mean, that just... final scene was was freaking kick ass but but other than that like, yeah there's really absolutely nothing there yeah i was just like but oh. i mean there wasn't really anything there with evil did too if you go back and watch it there was well, i mean really the, the, a lot. the first half well there's not really a lot to a lot of old horror no, the, movies the, like the, the, the first like that anyway. the first half of evil dead 2 was just recapping evil dead 1 evil dead 1 i know <laughs> and, and then and then it, it, it split but the whole reason that's a, that's even a thing is because uh, every time, like every, they, lo- they didn't have the rights to the first one for some reason because it was a different studio. Or... Each each movie, Evil yeah, Dead, yeah, Evil yeah. Dead Two, and Evil Dead Three are all were all different studios. They didn't have the rights to the storyline from from, from the previous movies, <laughs> so they recap. Like, like that's why in Army of Darkness, the beginning recapped <laughs> Evil Dead Two really quickly. <laughs> and but now now with different actors yeah, too, now, now, except for Bruce Campbell. Now Bridget Fonda was his girlfriend. <laughs> yes, and see, it's that shit. That's what made the old Evil Dead series uh, like uh, uh, so iconic, yeah. and that's not what was in this remake. All it was was just a typical just horror, yeah. dark. Yeah. But that's not what makes yeah. Evil Dead fun. If... You know, like it wasn't fun because of the horror. It was fun because of how fucking ridiculous it was. And, and, and the camp, and that that was all that was missing. So, Everything that so, that, so made, that yeah. Evil Dead 
remake or whatever you want to. That's not Evil Dead. That's just some random ass word. Mm. You know, that's all it is. You know, so yeah. It's a reimagining. It was, it was just a, a sure, bad reimagining. It's a reimagining, but if they took out all the imagination from it. Yeah. Like, well, they, 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 yeah. You know, it's like what Jezzer it's said. They, instead of going, instead of doing what they did, they they decided, oh, let's just make this dark and gritty. Yeah, and just they made fucking... it not fun. They, yeah. You know. Okay, so I'm I'm posting. I'm I'm gonna post sorry, a link here in the chat. Mean, uh, sorry, didn't mean to completely drill into a 2013 Evil Dead there. But... <laughs> the ironic thing is, Sam Raimi's like, I like it. So <laughs> he's the producer on the fucking movie. I, 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 I don't, I don't remember who I was cool. That he, I'm glad he liked it. I, I didn't, but well, I, 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 there's parts that I did like. Him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't remember. I it just, it no, wasn't but... evil dead to me. That's the thing. Right. It wasn't right. I, I don't remember who, uh, who, who this was in the thread. Cause that the, G- Gary would, I don't know if you guys know who he is. He's a, he's a screenwriter. Um, having fever on on, twi- on Twitter a, a few years ago. This was a ten year article ba- back. At, yeah, this was back in two thousand. Well, this was back in two thousand nineteen. He he uh, he he just like randomly tweeted out. Uh, he was just like, "Does anyone have any insight into the remake of Cabin Fever? Like seriously, why did they make the exact same movie again fifteen years later?" And there was a whole thing behind how it got made. And one of the producers on it had had written like this twenty tweet thread about it. But I guess they left Twitter, so the the thread is gone now. Uh, but that article kind of explains what happened, and it, it's it's kind of kind of like the Evil Dead thing. It's just with it, but with this specifically with Cabin Fever, it's just so weird how this happens. Because like, why would you remake Cabin Fever? Like of all movies, I don't like, know. It's just, it's just I don't know. So weird. Cabin Fever was a weird movie, yeah. though. So if, crazy if, movie. if you're interested in finding out, that Cinema Blend article will explain all of that to you. Uh, but moving on, let's talk about uh, Beetlejuice. 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 Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. Well, what, what did you guys think? I, I, let me. I'm gonna be like perfectly <laughs> honest with you guys. I haven't seen the first. Really? One. That, that, I haven't that, seen no. it either. See, for Bryce, that's not surprising. For Jezzer, it, 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 it's 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 a little surprising that you have. Seen well, because it, it, uh, it came out in what 1987. Yeah, so that was a year before I was born. Oh, and 13 I just years never, before I was born. Yeah, I just never uh, came back to it. You know? came out in 1988. Oh, that was the year. Yeah. That was the year I was born. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, when I was, I was around that age, I was watching Ninja Turtles. So I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I was five years old. I did see it in theaters. It, it's just, it's just I've, to me, Beetlejuice is just one of those movies that's kind of always been in like the cultural zeitgeist. Uh, yeah. it, it's just, is it? It's a is thing. it a comedy? Yeah. 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 Okay. So is this one like from the trailer? Like, cause I watched the trailer. Is that gonna be a comedy yeah, also? Sure, it yeah, looks yeah. like he's. It looks like he's mad at Renona Ryder, but Renona Ryder is well, like. Well, in it, okay, so spoilers. Uh, in the in, yeah, yeah. In, go for it. In the original movie, uh, mm-hmm. Beetlejuice tried to kidnap Winona Ryder's character at the age of sixteen and force her to marry him, so that he could es- so okay. that he could escape being a ghost in the underworld. Okay. So so right, so cool. so yeah, she's probably a little bad at him. So is is Jenny Ortega their kid? So what what I believe, like without going and doing the background checking first, uh, I see Shay is typing a bunch of stuff, so maybe he can research this and actually give us the the, the real answers. Uh, but from what I understand, Jenny Ortega is Winona Ryder character, Winona Ryder's character's daughter. Uh, Catherine O and the person that's betting getting buried is the dad. That's what I, that's what I think. Uh, because Catherine O'Hara was Winona Ryder's stepmother in the first movie. Jeffrey Jones yeah. from Deadwood and uh, uh, the the original Howard the Duck, and uh, he was Principal Rooney in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He what? He, okay, redhead. Yeah, he he was Winona Ryder's father in that movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she she so was could, playing him in the in the Lydia's daughter. Yeah, yeah. I I knew I knew that um, much for a fact. I just don't know what the um the plot the the, the the relationship the, the the I don't know who the dude that died was. Uh, yeah, we don't know yet. Because I I'm assuming based off of Jeffrey Jones's uh um personal life issues, uh, I don't think he'll be appearing in the movie at all. Mm. He might be in the casket. Yeah, yeah, it could, it could, it, that that could be him. 
Um, it, so then, so then the dad is just some unknown kind of like in Ghostbusters. Probably, afterlife. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe the dad's gonna come back as a ghost too. I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I have absolutely uh, no idea what the plot yeah. of this movie is, and just yeah. in general, it, 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 it didn't look like the, you know, the budget was like. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm saying like it looked like they made it pretty quickly. So I don't like. It I don't think like it's gonna it, be it too was made crazy. pretty quick. Yeah, you know, honestly, yeah. I kind of hope it looks like the first movie. Uh, yeah. Just like like effects mm -hmm. wise, like uh, pra like claymation effects for the sandworms, practical, pra yeah. like more practical type stuff. Uh, yeah. It's as Tim Burton, so I have a feeling like there will be a lot of practical stuff. But like out outside of some of the the weird compositing from the first movie, I feel like like the the effects and everything still kind of hold up because it's a it's a specific style. It's like watching Coraline. Like I, yeah. I, I like you know, it, it's 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 different. I like Michael Keaton, and I love that he's coming back for sequels and stuff. There's one sequel that he did, or one show movie that I did that I wish there'd be another sequel to, and that's uh, Multiplicity. I love that. That'd movie. be great. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see a sequel to uh, Johnny Dangerously, where he was like the uh, the gangster. Okay, or uh, Jack Frost. Yeah, Jack Frost. Sequel to Mister uh, Mister Mister Mom. Mom. I want to see a sequel to Mister Mom. You you where, where he's at yeah. now? You would after after yeah. his. So role I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve judgment. I'm gonna reserve judgment on Beetlejuice too. It, I'm gonna it probably seems, watch Beetlejuice. Yeah. Too. So. From what I gather from the trailer, it seems like obviously there's a funeral. They're visiting the home, and the daughter wakes up Beetlejuice, and Winona Ryder's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, he sees what's oh happening. shit. Here it's we like, go again. He's gonna want to marry her now. Yeah, <laughs> but but she woke him up just by taking the the the, the tablecloth thing or the sheet off of the model. No, hmm. you have to say his name like three times. Right, right. But she just pulled the thing off of the model, and then we saw him. We saw the model crack, and him, and he raised up out of it. She didn't say his name at all. How did how did she get him to go away in the first movie? Uh, they said his name. Or no, no, they no, 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 no. Uh, they they ate him with a uh, a sandworm, and then he no. and then he kind of like died, died, and then then his head got shrunk in the the waiting room. He was still alive. He he didn't get killed. Well, I mean, they just got they just got rid of him back to the underworld. He, he he's okay. dead. No, he at the end of the movie he was still alive. No, he's dead. He's not alive. They just, He's a ghost. He's dead. He. They didn't get rid of him. He is still. Uh. uh he is still present. He's, he's still around. He's still around. Dang it, Josh! You're, you're making. You're confusing the shit out of Shay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna watch it. Working, working, working. I watch that. At, like, the the first movie. Yeah. Uh, I think it's on Max. Maybe Max. All right. Uh, you could watch it. Uh, for three ninety nine if you rent it. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll oh, do yeah. something else. It's only yeah, that, that's weird. It's only on it's only on YouTube. Well, that means you should not torrent the movie then. I should yeah, it should not yeah. Full okay. of movies available on YouTube, huh? That's weird. There's no way yeah. that could be any more than like five bucks on like uh, uh Voodoo or something though. Yeah. Okay. It, it, on, it, you mean on Fandango at home? Oh yeah. It, <laughs> it, it may also be on ten dollars. Um... It it's actually on sale for ten bucks in four K. Oh, that's not bad. I might actually yeah. buy yeah. that. There's yeah. a there, there's another sequel movie that came out 20 years after the original. I think you may have already talked about this trailer, but which one? Uh, which, one which one? Twisters. I'm excited for oh, Twisters. Yeah, that was, that, was Twisters, no, that movie looks so lame. That was such a the weird first The first movie was great, man. The first movie was great, but that was Bill Paxton. I know. Like, well, they could have now... they could have cast Bill Paxton's actual son and have him be like sure, the son. Sure. Cuz he was in Agents of Shield. He looks exactly like him. But, Wait, his son, yeah. who, who was his son in Agents of Shield? He was a Hydra member or something. Well, Bill yeah. Paxton was a Hydra member. Who was his like son? actual Bill Paxton was uh um uh Dalt, uh yeah, what's his name's a uh, trainer uh, like mentor or whatever. Yeah. Uh I, I, Toku Toku uh made a good point in the comments. He said Beetlejuice, or at least I'm assuming he's talking about BG Beetlejuice, is a demon who died because he ends up in the wayward soul waiting yeah, room. Yeah. Which Okay, so you only go to the waiting room after you've died. So that means he, when they woke him up, they actually brought him back to life. And then when he got <laughs> eaten by the sandworm, he died and had to go through the process of waiting a dead, uh, waiting again after being killed again. Sure. Okay. So he was alive and he got killed again. Okay. I'll, I'm gonna watch the movie and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it, it, it's it's fun. Like it, it, it's just it's just really it, like by. Today's standards, there's some kind of creepy stuff in there, but 
Yeah, o- overall yeah. It's kind of, it, it, it's a little fucking weird. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, and, but but the creepy stuff is also like the weird stuff to me because like like, like I said at the end of the movie, Beetlejuice tra- like you know, like Lydia is only like. 16 or something like that and Beetlejuice tries to force her to yeah. marry him but then the Saturday morning cartoon version of Beetlejuice came out and like they're, they're, they're like, they're, best they're like besties like hanging out in the, in the, yeah. in the world together well well, they, they, they yeah like it was so weird because they definitely weren't friends at the end of the movie no no <laughs> definitely not what does that mean <laughs> it's so yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see you'll see uh, yeah. let's see, but wait. isn't there like a Broadway show also? Yeah, there, there's a music. There's yeah, a but it's just a re- remake of the, uh, a musical of the. Uh, that, that's the one where uh, uh, what what's what's her name got caught like vaping and groping her boyfriend in it. Uh, Lauren Bobert or whatever. Who really? Yeah, yes, <laughs> so stupid. Lauren, uh, she's, she she she's a a Congress person from like Colorado. She went to see the Beetlejuice musical. Uh, so she got divorced. I uh, went to see the the Beetlejuice musical on a date. And both her, and she she was like vaping in the theater, and uh, on video, uh, like like from security cameras, uh, her the her date and her were like groping each other during the during the thing. It, it was it, it was like this whole thing. It was like really weird. <laughs> but you know, people from Colorado are gonna vote for who they vote for. I guess you know, right? <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Doctor Who. Have you seen the? Uh, uh, are, I, I don't remember. Jezza, are you a Doctor Who guy? I'm not, but based from the trailer, it seems like a good jumping off point. It, it, it jumping might be a off good... point yeah, or jumping on point. It's season one, so <laughs> yeah. So no, I'm, I'm saying they're... yeah, I'm saying like I can. It'd probably be okay to start from here too. Yeah, and then yeah. like it'll reference like the past seasons. But everybody always because, says because Disney has the rights now, so it's season one. Right. Like right. like I, I like, think like technically it's series sixteen, but but yeah, now they're it's like a new pr- whole production thing. Yeah, so it's, it's a new volume. One. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. They, they did that when Eccleston came into as Ninth Doctor. Like that was tech. That was yeah. technically series or season one, even though it, p- it picked up forty years after the the original series. So yeah, do, do you guys uh, at Comic Con? There's like barely any celebrities, right? Like barely any because of the strike, yeah. right? <clears throat> he was there. He was in the he was in the hallway right before you go into the screen rent room. I was gonna say hi to him, but. You know, Wait, which guy? Uh, uh, n- n- the new doctor. Me. Yeah, the, he was also in Barbie. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. He was one of the yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was there. I was like, ah, should I say hi? But I felt like he was trying to like not be seen or something. Yeah, I, I, I totally get that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, you're not supposed, you're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be at Comic Con. <laughs> I'm. I, I'm well, excited. For... Be, they were supposed to be at Comic Con working. They they yeah. were okay to uh, go and attend, but they, mm-hmm. yeah, they just couldn't. They just couldn't be there as yeah, they uh, could be at, uh, representative as representatives or... of of whatever, whatever they were. They had. Yeah, yeah. They, whatever they were working on. Um, I, I'm excited for the new the new series. Uh, Russell T Davis yeah, is coming too. back. That, that, that special, the Christmas special was spectacular. I really enjoyed um, it. Ju- just spectacular. Off of that Christmas special. <laughs> 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 just off of that Christmas special alone, I was like, okay, he's gonna be one of my favorite doctors. Um, he's a great, he's a so, great actor. He's great. So I'm really excited uh, to see see what they. Sorry, do Bryce. Them. I'm not. I'm not sure if something changed, but your your vocal level went like dropped a bit. Like you sound quieter than everyone else now. <laughs> Don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I was gonna say he finally <laughs> hit puberty, but <laughs> hey, his pitch didn't now shift. Now I can hit puberty. <laughs> Man, I, I gotta something on your end, Josh. You just need to turn me up a little, I think. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. Uh, what do Wait, you want me where, to do? Bryce, where where did <laughs> Bryce, where did you jump on to Doctor Who? What season was it? Um, I think series seven, Matt Smith. Uh but I've been on and off for, for a while. Um okay. I might... so I I I've I've watched some and then not watched some and then came back and then Are they and... are they gonna have all this series on Disney Plus or I... No, um, so I think so. Right now, the way they have because the rights are all over the place uh, because they they stopped and ended the show a bunch of times. Uh, so so the the first seven Doctors, the classic series, is on uh, Tubi. Um, yeah, and then yeah, uh, and then um, and then um, so the the BBC revival Doctors uh, nine through thirteen is on Max, and everything everything going new forward is on Disney, Disney Plus. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sucks. Aren't sucks. streaming services yeah, it great? It's like yeah. they're yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, it, they're so great. stupid. It it says it, the uh, the plan is to move it all to Disney when it expires. Uh, uh, I mean that makes sense. Yeah, 
Oh, maybe I'll start. I'll start. Uh, July two. 2025 is when they will have it on Max until. I I think if if I were going to suggest a way for someone to get into Doctor Who now who is interested in it, I I would I would say to start Eccleston. I uh, yes, I I would start with Eccleston, uh, but also I think I would start with Godwin. <clears throat> I would start with this brand yeah, new yeah yeah well, that, well that's what that's what i mean like i i would i would start with this new series and then once this is over if you were like oh hey i like this i want to go catch up on older doctor who stuff start with eccleston and then after you get through that stuff if you want to watch more then go back to the earlier stuff I, so are there two doctors out or two doctors now no well so, i don't know how to answer that yeah question. <laughs> yeah that's that's because I, I i have seen <laughs> clips matt smith came back I, and they uh, split yeah well, it was David Tennant in and oh no, not Matt Smith. Yeah, David Tennant. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. They, they, there, there's, so. yeah. There's a lot of, I guess so. there's a lot of different stuff out there. We don't know there. what's going on with that. It's yet. all timey wimey. Yeah, oh. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. What other trailers, yeah, there, Josh? I, I, I'm really excited for the new Doctor Who stuff. I think I think they've been doing a really good job uh, ever since. Uh, I think that was it for like movies and TV shows. Um, that's all. That's all I have on our list here oh, for trailers. The oh, the penguin! The penguin that's trailer. right. Oh. That, that dropped oh, yesterday. Penguin trailer. I dropped it. I'm so. I'm. I'm actually really excited, excited for that. I'm excited for this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, who is he talking good. to? I don't know. That's probably the thing. Carmine Falcone or something. Pro, 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 uh, maybe. Uh, or Batman. Is it well, do, Alfred? Well, huh? do we do we know when when this movie takes? Or does, Maroney. Maroney. I mean Maroney. Does. It, or, is whatever. is the, the other one. is the series before or after the movie? It's after. It's after. The it's movie. after. Okay. It, it it's his new movie. rise after. It, this is but when I he think, really think... becomes the penguin. So okay, so this is this From is him taking Superman. like kind of taking over. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 Falcone's Fal- territory Falcone. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm excited. If they have, you know, even if they have one small cameo, I'll be I'll be happy about it. Like I, I was talking I was talking with Shay about this yesterday. Um. I kind of hope that it kind of goes like a, a weird like Dick Tracy route where we get like some of the more obscure Batman villains like the street, like the street level people that was that up. was that pig man pig was that pig guy oh oh oh, <laughs> oh yeah um, pig guy yeah yeah uh, but like we could get Scarface uh, that you know the, okay. the, the the dude with the the the, the ventriloquist puppet. Oh yeah, yeah. We can get that. Yeah, like a lot, a lot. Uh, time for Sean Gunn to come back as Calendar, man. right? Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe Con- Jim Con- Gordon. King. We can, and we have Jim Gordon at least. I feel, I feel like he. That's an attainable thing. Je- Jeffrey Wright. Uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I don't see why not. Absolutely. I, I, I he's on television. He's in, the, so. in the realm of possibility for Batman to show up in the last episode or something. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So, like, like not not in like a main role, but like something. I, like he like shows up. I mean, and, honestly, I don't see why not. If it's taking place after you know, the the, I, the the movie. Although and, I would kind of love if they did. Um, not not so much like the the Smallville thing where they just like reference random characters every once in a while, but like if if they show like Batman doing something on TV and the the reporters talking about it, newspaper stories about Batman like, uh, putting people kind in jail. of like kind of like a first season of Agents of Shield with the Avengers. Kind of, kind of, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Let, like let us know that Batman is there and doing things, but maybe who knows? Maybe. They'll introduce like the villain for Batman too, like well, give him an I mean, origin story. The, the Batman was heavily influenced from Long Halloween. Yeah, and yeah. Keller Man is very prominent in the Long Halloween as well. It's so not gonna like, be. It's not gonna be Sean Gunn. No, no. Shrek, no Sean Gunn no, has too no. much stuff going on in the new in the new DC universe. Yeah, he's Maxwell Lord. He's a big deal. Yeah. Oh wow, cool. No. <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, so so other than Penguin, now I think I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Um, so uh, other 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 movie news. There, there's no there's there's no trailer for this, but apparently they're making a new Popeye movie. It's in development. Like Br- Br- yeah. Bryce, Bryce is excited about it. He's probably like the only person I could tell his excitement. Can we is... can we just get can we get like a Popeye TV show again? Like like a, like, like a car- like a cartoon or live action? Yeah, like a cartoon. Yeah, but, I mean, but, isn't that yeah? Isn't that is that Max? Is that I, Max? I think, I think so. Warner Brothers. Um, yeah. but I want it to be like the old school cartoons. Like, like I, I just want like, like, yeah. like a, like a seven minute completely standalone. Like mm-hmm. I, I miss mm-hmm. like, like old school, like uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons, Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes. Well, they were doing those Mickey Mouse mm-hmm. cartoons 
from like 2013 to like 2022. Yeah, there's like they had the well, there's a there's a Mickey they Mouse had, like, a show whole series. Yeah. There's a Mickey Mouse show on Disney Plus that's actually kind of entertaining. I can't uh, remember I'll have to check what it, it out. Called. Like I, I was with streaming. Yeah, it ran from like 2013 to like two, 2022. Like oh, yeah. Yeah. Br- they did like a shit ton of episodes. Br- Bryce probably just caught the tail end of this being a thing but Je- Jezzer and, and and Shay I know you like you, you you guys remember like channel surfing back in the day or like just like yeah. t- turning on TV you're like oh Looney Tunes is on it like ends up being like six hours of Looney Tunes and you just like leave it on yeah. like right ru- yeah. like running um that's the kind of stuff that I miss I feel like like new cartoons aren't yeah. aren't that anymore and and now now with streaming it's so hard to like find that kind of stuff too I'm sure Bryce channel surfed <laughs> I remember channel surfing like 10 years ago yeah, uh, you, I haven't you know. actually I haven't had Listen, cable. Man, um, mm. streaming didn't become a thing like major until like 2011, like, like 15 or like you know, like not not to where like everybody was doing like like cutting. Cord, yeah, like I I, I cut the cord so, in yeah, I want to say 2017. 2000, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, we still had cable. <laughs> uh, we still had a VCR. You know, we still had all that. I'm not that. It is okay. So it is weird to think like how it's cable and television network television stuff. It is even though it's still around, it seems very archaic. It's just so yeah. It it, it, it just it just evolved. Honestly, it just oh yeah. Well, and and everything is kind of turning back into that again. Yep. 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 Because why why would I want to to sit down at 7 p.m. at this time on this day whenever I might have something to do whenever I could just watch it the next day? Right immediately whenever or, or four hours know. later like like you know like oh i'm, I'm yeah. you know this drops at six o'clock but i'm at work until nine i'm just gonna watch it at, when, when i get home yeah and not having to worry that's about how, I mean, oh. that's how Hulu like, even is. Then, even w- even considering that dvr has been a thing for i know yeah, yeah you know tivo tivo i remember when tivo first came out and so so like even then it's just like like you didn't have to sit down and watch no. you know what that was like early 2000s <clears throat> Yeah, yeah but but now, now, well, now but then you also had VHS. You had the VHS recording. Yeah, you set the timer on your VHS recording. But you but you had to remember this Power Rangers episode on v- VHS. We would go to the store buy these blank VHS. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I would go in and I would I would tape. The show. But but the thing the yeah. thing is even even then you had to remember to set your VCR to record the show. Like you had to pre- yeah. you, yeah, you, I, like I, you had to, you had to program your VCR do whatever. Now. I remember to set my VCR to record. This but show. like, let, okay. let, let's let's say let's say you had like three. Let, let's say you had a bunch of other people that were living in the house with you, and you you set the VCR to record something, but then someone else went, and they were like, "I want to watch this movie," and they 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 took out your black tape, they put a movie in, and then never and yeah. then never put your black tape back in. That, never so happened. That happened. I, I, if if that happened, um, so that would have had to have been one of my sisters. Um, <laughs> they 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 would have rubed the day. Uh, you know, you rubed the that, day. That would have that would have never happened again. You so, deleted my you Wild know, Force Power in your episode. Was a little asshole as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I like we probably we probably <clears throat> would have never been able to reconcile uh, <laughs> if one of my sisters taped over my Power Rangers. Episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to find out what happened, and then yeah, the next episode. That's totally a thing that I remember happening when I was a kid. It was either someone taking just taking the tape out so the VCR wasn't able to record, or se- or yeah. setting up their own recording that was happening at the same time as another yeah. one, and just like everything. Or, just or, got or you or you put a tape in the VCR that didn't have the little plastic yeah. tab in it so that it would record. Like I remember, the, take out the plastic tab to to protect your for recording. <laughs> Yeah. It was so well, you had a fucking magnet will destroy yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like we, we, we have progressed so far since then. And while things have gotten overall better in that regards, it's also now worse because it's like, OK, wait, I was in the middle of watching Star Trek. Now it's not on Paramount Plus anymore. It's on HBO Max. Nope, it's not on HBO Max. Is it on that? No, it's not on Netflix. Where the, yeah, where like, the fuck, where the is, fuck it? is this show? Yeah, <laughs> like I was try- I was trying to start watching Battlestar Galactica a few months ago. And that is not streaming anywhere. I'm like, why? Why the? F- yeah, ask why Daniel, ask Daniel where, where he watches it. It, 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 should, it should be on Peacock, but it's it's not there. Yeah. Da- uh, Daniel's never watched it. Buy a DVD, lamo. <laughs> then you don't have to. Stream well, it that's anywhere. why there there's put the disc in, you play it. There's they don't sell DVDs anymore. Uh, yeah. Yes, they do. So Best Buy uh, doesn't. Well, not not the store. Okay. And, well, and not, not online anymore either, I guess. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, online. Yeah, Best, Best Buy does not sell. Stopped. 
Okay, well, Best Buy stop. sucks. And tar- Target's on the on its way out with the digital. Okay, but all those DVDs too. are still being sold. They just went to Walmart. You know. Yeah. Like, Walmart goes to Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> I go to Walmart all the time. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Walmart. Well, that, 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 that's like, that's, that's like change. the epicenter of where you live. Though. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to change when you move out here. Yeah. The clo- the closest actual yeah. Walmart is like 45 minutes away. Yeah. yeah. There's no Walmarts. No Walmarts? Yeah. We, we've got Fuck a bunch Walmart. of Target. Walmart. There's a ton of Walmarts or, or targets. targets around here. Uh, there is a Walmart neighborhood store down in Hawthorne by where Joe lives. But... That's mostly groceries. Yeah, but it, it, it what is am I all groceries. Do with my Walmart you know, Plus subscription. The only, the only actual like Walmart, Walmart. Is, yeah, Burbank. Burbank is the hey, closest wait, one Bryce, to us. Where do you, where are you at again? Uh, Evansville, Indiana. Indiana. So yeah, Walmart is the epicenter of that <laughs> yeah. whole state. <laughs> well, that's our, you guys Arkansas. have Wawa. Arkansas is where Walmart's from. I don't know what that is. Oh, now, I wish we had Wawa out here. Yeah, Wawa makes great sandwiches. They, they do. Oh. They do. Yeah. That was like when when I went back out to Philly a few years ago. Um, that was like the first thing I did. Like as soon as, soon as we got to the hotel, I was like, "Okay, where's the closest Wawa? I want to go get a sandwich." Yep, and they got a better app than any like a lot of uh, freaking websites. Like yeah. their apps, God, great apps are so awful now. Like like yeah. I feel I, I feel like I feel like everyone just kind of like dicks around with it. They're like, people are going to use it regardless of how bad it is, so we don't need to put yep. that much effort into it. Yep. It, it. It's it's stupid. Um. Let's see. What uh, we we did get a trailer for uh, this ga- gaming now. Uh, Marvel 1943: Rise of Hydra. Yeah, that looks really cool. Hey, you know what? You don't. You, all you have to say it's made by uh, Naughty Dog, and then that's it. You don't. You don't have to give me a trailer. I know it's going to so be good. So the complaints I've been seeing in the comments about this is that uh, they're going to re- they released. They're like, we're not falling for another trailer without any gameplay again because we're going to end up getting <clears throat> either a turn based or a card game. It's not. Yeah. It's Naughty Dog, though. It's fine. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, but look at what happened with with the with Suicide Squad. I know, but it's Naughty Dog. Like, you know what? You know what's gonna happen is it's gonna be like a, like a plat, not a platformer, but they're you're gonna have to like do clues and stuff, and like be there's detective work and, yeah. I th- it's I think it's gonna be fine. It's so what what games has Naughty Dog made? Uncharted and Uncharted Last of Us. Last yeah. Of us. It's it's gotta be like oh, yeah, okay. it's gotta be like an Uncharted Last of Us like style gameplay. Like, it's gonna like, be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be like, fine. Like we knew we knew what Midnight Suns was going to be because it was made by fucking Firaxis. Like Firaxis yeah. makes XCOM. Like we knew that the game was going yeah. to be that style. Yeah. Freaking Gotham Knights, that was garbage. <laughs> but you, uh, you, like like I, I Oh, I liked Gotham Knights, that was fun. Uh it's it's not Arkham. Sure. It's a it's it's a, a it's Definitely not like uh, Arkham. Uh, it's not Arkham. Arkham Knights. Well, but it's not. It wasn't meant to be Arkham. It's an RPG. I, I, the, the the combat is more combo timing. Uh, yeah. The, Very heavy combo timing. And the freaking like riding around a motorcycle is kind of blows also. Oh, the the motorcycle was stupid. I I was like whatever. Like did it? I I had more fun yeah. just gliding. But but Naughty <laughs> Naughty Dog knows what they're doing. They they've done this long enough that they know what they're doing. They're fine. But but also like the the writers for the game, uh, Mark Mark Bernadin, uh was one of the writers. Uh, he like he he's pretty pretty good with the stuff that he that, that he's done. Like he's he's written a bunch of stuff for uh, Dark Horse. Uh, Neil Gaiman partnered with Bernadin uh, to adapt mm. uh, uh, the the Nazi Boys into a comic series. Um, so he he's got some good 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 credits. Uh, it he and he started out as an intern on Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. So you know, and you got and you got so freaking, he's one you of got my people. you got Cyborg as the voice. You got Gary uh, Carrie Payton. Yeah, as fucking voice Carrie Payton. Of- like as as soon as I saw saw uh, Gary Bla- Payton. Carrie Payton. Oh. Uh, as as soon as I saw uh, Black Panther's face in this, I was like, that's fucking Carrie Payton. Like I, yep. I, I, I knew he looks I knew amazing. He I don't know about I don't know about uh, Captain America, but Carrie Payton is gonna carry it for um, sure. Yeah, and, well, and then also one of the other writers was uh, Amy Henning, uh, who she 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 wrote like all of the uh, the Uncharted mo- games. Uh, mm-hmm. So like I I feel like like people people are just kind of going a little mm, with this. Yeah, but, I want I want to see who's playing Captain America. That's weird. They they, they made yeah. Last of I Us don't... Part Two, and they're already making a remaster of Last of Us Part Two. Well, yeah, it came out. Yeah, man, it's all. Yeah, it came out. Yeah. It came out like 2019, I think. Last yeah, part two. But it, but it came out on. It one. came out on PS4. That's why. And then. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that shit's old. 
That's four years old. Dude, that old. like the new the new <laughs> season. Trigger's old. Hey, Bryce, you played Last of Us too, right? I never heard of that. I've actually never played any of the last. I watched the show and it was amazing. I, didn't oh, I played man. like like the first like Last of Us Part One for like an hour and then I shut it off. Season I, two. I, I haven't played any of them. Season two is gonna be like crazy for everybody. It's gonna be ridiculous. So I watched yeah. one episode of The Last of Us and I didn't finish it. Oh, you so, didn't like it? Strange. No, I that that was when when my TV head went out, so I was like, okay. Uh, Captain, um, and and now he's just bought a TV that spies on him. Yeah. What does that mean? No. <laughs> so so Ca- Captain, the guy, the guy, the guy who's doing the voice of Captain America, um, he hasn't like hasn't done a whole lot that I recognize. Uh, he looks he, like he looks he, like U.S. Uh, U.S. agent. Uh, he he was That's in. What I was saying, yeah. He he was in VHS. Uh, he was he was a random voice in Grand Theft Auto Five and Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, Blue Bloods. Yeah. He was in one episode of that. He was a he was a random voice in Red Dead Redemption Two. Random so, guy uh, in NCIS. So Carrie Payton's gonna carry the whole so, the game, whole so game. Random guy. He's random. Guy yeah, a lot yeah, pretty much. Carrie Payton's gonna carry the whole game. Yeah, fine. probably. Yeah, which he can do. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah. As long as it doesn't end up being like the Avengers. Oh uh, no, I don't think so. Uh. Which I bought for like two ninety nine before they took wasn't, it off the wa- stores. Wait, wasn't the Avengers? <laughs> wasn't that like a SquareSoft game or something? Square Enix game? Yeah. Uh, it was. It was it put was. out by Square Enix, but it was uh, made by Crystal Dynamic. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they, they bamboozled us. So the voice, the the voice of the new Wakandan character, uh, Nanali, uh, that she's being played by Megalyn Echa. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher it. What was she in? Uh, so she has been in. She's been in a bunch of stuff. Uh, she was recently in. Recently, this was 1917 or 1917. Uh, 2017. She was in Chips. Uh, she was in the uh uh, that movie Stepsisters. Uh, Night School. Uh, on Ah. on TV, she was in the 4400. Uh, she was in. Uh, oh, uh, she was um. Hyde's sister in that 70s show. Oh, okay. I remember her. Um she's been in a bunch of random stuff. Like I I I yeah, I, I know who she is. She she's a decent actress. So I yeah. I, I I'm I'm cool. Here's with some that. here's here's she's some at least an actress. Here's decent. some game here's some gaming news that you I know you you three are gonna like. What do you what do you guys think of the first person Fortnite? I don't know. Fortnite. Um, I will right now. It's it's seeming what, like they're only Fortnite. adding it into UEFN to where you can put it in like your custom maps. Um, so I it doesn't seem like they're me they're implementing it into Battle Royale at least not right now. Mm-hmm. I I could see them honestly. What what they're probably doing is they're implementing it into UEFN so the fans can test it <laughs> and uh. pull into Minecraft and they're putting. They're putting this in, into the game so so the fans can test it before it's ready for release, and then they'll release. It doesn't probably. doesn't this Maybe like kind year. of doesn't this kind of like negate like you buying these character like these different IP characters because you're not going to be able to see them, you um, know? When you... Well, whatever they do, it's just going to be an option, you know. So oh. I mean, I'm sure you could turn it off. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it, um, it it changes the gameplay a lot though, because you yeah. don't get that full. Uh, you're th- there's a lot of I, ways I, your, your, your field of view is going to be a lot different. You're, yeah, that yeah, yeah. your well, field of view is completely different. Yeah, no and way. you are only going to be straight ahead. You're yeah. not seeing. Yeah. yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be like playing Halo. My uh... but uh, but again, I I don't see like like it, like if they do make it like they they might have like do what they did with zero build and go okay this is the first yeah. person mode. yeah or yeah there, there, there's have it just be an option. <laughs> You know, I so mean, it's not gonna be forced. I, yeah, it's definitely not going to be forced. I don't, I don't know about them. I, I guess they could make it an option because, like, theoretically, you're in first person mode when you use any of the scopes. You're just zoomed in. True. Yeah. Um, it's, same thing when you when you mm-hmm. uh, 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 are aiming with non scope yeah. weapons. You're only that one field of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can see them turning that on permanently. I don't know if I could play. I don't. Just with the play style I, of Fortnite, I don't know that I would be able to play it full time that way. It's I gonna change use, how you move. I don't use no. I don't person. think people. I, I 
honestly, I don't see people ever actually using it in Battle Royale. But I think it will be good to have for for a UEFN now. Yeah, yeah. And, I don't use I don't use first person in GTA, and they've had it for like years. I don't use it at all. Yeah. So oh, yeah, first person in GTA is really weird. So j- just just to 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 kind of clarify a little bit here, uh, you. you uh, UEFN is uh, Unreal Engine Fortnite's uh, custom uh, build yeah. for it, specifically for Fortnite stuff. Is uh, Unreal Unreal Engine is Epic's gaming engine, uh, which a lot a lot of a lot of games use that. It's like usually either Unreal Engine or Unity. Um, Havoc used to be a thing, but I don't I don't know if that's still still around or not. Uh, I don't know. My friend is actually building a. Uh... <clears throat> This is a game that we used to play on PlayStation a lot. He's building building it in Fortnite. Uh, Bryce, maybe you know because you've had PlayStation for a while. Uh, do you remember Warhawk? I know the name of that game. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was, it was a had. PlayStation Three game. Launch yeah, game. It was. was it? Yeah. it was an amazing game. Like it was like it's kind of it was a little <laughs> bit of battle royale, but you can wear fly fly planes, tanks, jeeps, and stuff, and they had like you know basic modes like capture the flag and stuff. But he's making yeah. it. He's making and, it in, in Fortnite. EverQuest was was first person, and you had the option to play in third person. But most people played in first person was back it, in the day. But then uh, EverQuest, but then EverQuest there was, was first the person. Warcraft. Yeah, EverQuest was first. Well, every, everyone played generally in first person. I don't know if I EverQuest. remember that. So I, I, um, I played it, EverQuest for a long time. Yeah, because everyone would would go in first person and put auto run on, and you just see your character just running straight to your destination. It wasn't until World of Warcraft there was the jump to like third person view and a whole like three sixty uh, uh, stuff like that. You can play, you could play EverQuest in third person, but it didn't. The yeah. controls didn't work the same way as as other traditional third person huh. games did. Um, but generally, first person. That's the same thing with this uh, Fortnite thing. That big the jump. It's gonna be. It'll be very different. To try I, that. I don't. You know, we keep using the word jump. I don't mm. think it will be a jump. I. I mean, I think if people want to use it, they'll use it. And if they don't, they won't. I mean, and and again, I. I don't. I. We don't even know if it will be implemented fully into battle. Yeah. Right now. This might just be something they just do for the the creative maps. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, does he? I don't know. But 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 even then, like like e- even if it does get implemented into battle royale, I think it's gonna be exactly what Jezzer just said. Um, like with GTA, whenever they uh, implemented first person, nobody will use it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Man, but yeah. People are so used to third person, like people are people are going to just auto- unless it's a, its own separate mode, like what they did with Hero Build. It's right. going to be more suitable for the for the custom maps for sure. Yeah, Pro- probably. There, there were a bunch of other announcements with the Fortnite stuff too. Um, oh yeah. yeah, well, like <clears throat> custom maps, custom maps for Lego are now available. Custom maps for Rocket Racing are now available. <laughs> finally. Um, Fall, Fall um, Guys is getting they're, they're, implemented in there. Fall Guys is coming to Fortnite. <clears throat> Wait, what? Like, I, How? Yeah. Wait, what? The full, like, like Fall Guys, the whole thing. Is oh, they're just putting Fortnite. the game into I'm Fortnite? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, so, because they own it, so might as well just put it in the fucking Fortnite. I, <laughs> um, but, um, I love Fall Guys. Uh, and then uh, Fortnite Festival is also getting custom maps. Don't know how that's going to work yet, uh, but... Uh, that'll be interesting. Oh, uh, instrument support is coming to Fortnite Festival with the guitar, and they're I think they're adding support too uh, for the controllers. Um, What's what Fortnite else? Festival? Oh, oh uh, it's the music. It's Guitar Hero, the rhythm game, rock band. Within the Fortnite game? Yeah. Yeah. What? I can play that? It's it's just a rhythm. It's a rhythm game, yeah, music yeah. rhythm Fortnite, game in Fortnite. Fortnite is, yeah. Isn't, uh, isn't its own game anymore? It's like its own eco. It's like you, you know in Ready Player One. How it's just like everything. That's what Fortnite is now. Wait, so they have like <laughs> they have like uh they have a rhythm game, licensed rhythm music. Game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, it's kind of it's kind of pricey though. Like I, I don't like how much how much did you pay for games on a rock band? Oh, I dude. Not, not, perfectly not, well, not, 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 not overall individual songs. Like how oh, how, how, how okay. much how much were the oh, songs? Oh, like two, <laughs> two, two, <laughs> like two bucks. <laughs> two ninety nine, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or one ninety nine. One ninety nine for a song. Yeah, but like yeah. in all, in general, I think I paid like maybe yeah, five hundred dollars. Yeah, like five bucks. <laughs> I mean, o- o- <laughs> that's o- what... overall, that's that's like, like yeah, five hundred bucks is a lot, but over time, that's really not that bad. Yeah, five hundred dollars is a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where, but where mine, but my, mine is all on like it's only on PS3. I can't get it on PS5. Oh, that sucks. That's the only reason yeah, why that sucks. Yeah, that's yeah. only re- yeah. But I I use a I use a real electric drum kit. 
to play it with Rock Band. Yeah. Because I modded it. I modded something, and I, so I'm able to do if it. So you play get on a real PC, feel. you can do that. You can yeah. do that uh, if you play on PC. Uh, but but the controller support is just being added for the like, well. I mean, you can use that on PC too, but but more for console players because PC players have been able to use controllers ever since the game. But can you yeah. play the can you play the rhythm game for free or like with Fortnite? Yeah, or? yeah. they're all free. Yeah. And you yeah, just don't have the songs. Yeah, right, you just don't have a whole lot of songs. Well, like songs yeah, yeah, there's like a limited songs. rotation. Yeah, oh. they have daily songs. And and if your friend owns the song, then you can play it. Yeah. Well, it awesome. Yeah, as long as, as, long as you're in together. I've, yeah. What? I've but never, the, I've the, the vocals isn't... Like, even if you have the, the mic controller, you can't use... You can't use that, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still the like, rhythm. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's still just, it's it's, it's still, like, with the vocals. It's still just rhythm based, uh, with the buttons. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love Fortnite Festival. Uh, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, Fall Guys is coming, and then uh, Epic Game Store is coming to iOS. Yeah, again. <laughs> uh, so so uh, they like took it Fortnite off, right? Yeah, I guess or Epic One. Uh, uh, even though it seems like they lost their lawsuit, but they're I mean, the Epic Games Store is coming to iOS, so. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, I mean, yeah. it, it just was already there, and it just was fighting to keep it on there. It wasn't already there. Fortnite was there, but then they took Fortnite down. Uh, because, oh, they took Fortnite down. Oh, yeah, okay. they took Fortnite down and, and then banned Epic from publishing apps on their store uh, because they broke their rules with the whole V-Bucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, get around or whatever. Um and and now they're the Epic Game Store is coming. How to did iOS, the Apple so. miss that? They're like, oh, this free game's going on our platform. How do they make money? Oh, they sell in-game currency just like any other fucking yeah. mobile game. Yeah, but but Apple gets a share of that, and Epic was trying to get a, around that. Is what was going on. Oh, gotcha. And then they had gotcha. this whole lawsuit saga or whatever. But now the Epic Game Store is coming yeah. to iOS, well, so you're just going to be able to purchase everything through that. that. I mean, realistically, so. that is, that is kind of bullshit because, like, if, if you if you buy V Bucks through, you know, the PC or through your console, you're not pay. They're not paying the fee to Apple. So, so if if I wanted, well, they're paying it to Sony or Microsoft, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Through. Well. Through. So. Through. Through those platforms, though. Like. Like. I can understand if someone, if someone buys V bucks through through Apple, then yeah, pay pay the pay the fee or whatever. But but if they buy them directly from Epic, like yeah. like yeah. what? Where I I don't I don't know why that's a, that's an issue. It's it's stupid. Very cool. But I don't. I don't, I don't that know. was Apple's issue. Is that they weren't getting cut of money yes. from other places it was selling to? Yes. Well. Well. Because because they were redirecting. To Epic's own yeah. store through the iOS app. Oh God! So yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So it looks like Epic probably lost. Yeah, but then they won though because they have their store now on the iOS. No, they probably lost, and the agreement was that Epic's going to no, pay no, this no, no, portion, no. and they'll um, put the the, the no, app on the. Because that's the whole point of them putting their store on there, so they buy it through their store, not Apple store. Here, on. Let, let me let me let me pull up the oh 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 oh, oh you talk about the store okay. yes no not Fortnite not just Fortnite's coming back the Epic Game Store is coming to iOS yeah they they may still be giving a cut out of the Epic Game Store I well then why would they add the whole okay store? hold on, hold on. here here let me let, let me let me let me read uh what's let's happening try, here. let's read it let's figure <clears throat> it out together <laughs> so originally. Uh, the the judge ruled against Epic requiring them to pay Apple three point six million dollars with thirty percent of the revenue that was withheld to Apple related to their attempts to bypass the App Store, and further stated that Epic did violate the contractual terms as a developer with Apple and how they deployed the update to Fortnite twenty twenty that instigated events such that Apple may block Epic in future from providing apps to the App Store. Uh, Roger stated that Apple's single offense against California's law was not sufficiently severe to justify Epic's rule breaking. So, so that was the initial thing. Then there were a bunch of appeals, um, and uh, with the appeals, it looks like they also uh, d denied a stay of the injunction. The Ninth Circuit did, but the Ninth Circuit issued a stay on the portion of the order relating to provide in-app links to alternate payment systems uh, back in 2021, ruling that Apple had shown likelihood to succeed on their appeal. Though the order requiring Apple to allow apps to communicate to users about such payment systems outside the app was upheld. Um, 
a co coalition of 35 states, Microsoft, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and several other groups filed an amicus briefs in support of Epic's position, arguing that Apple held a monopoly and thus that Epic should prevail in its lawsuit. Uh, court hearings for the appeals began in November of 2022. Uh, the Ninth Circuit issued its opinion on April 24th, 2023, that all agreed that the lower court ruling should be upheld. However, they also agreed to stay the injunction requiring Apple to offer third-party payment options in July 2023, allowing time for Apple to submit its appeal to the Supreme Court. Both Apple and Epic Games have appealed the decision to the Supreme Court as of July, and Justice Elena, Elena Kagan deplied Epic's emergency request to lift the Ninth Circuit stay in August 2023. And the Supreme Court in January declined to hear the appeals from either Apple or Epic. So now... Uh, <clears throat> so what does all that mean? So, <laughs> so, so now there's a bunch. There were also a bunch of stuff with the European Union. Uh, so Apple announced on January 2024, or in January 2024, that to comply with the European Union's Digital Markets Act, that it will allow third-party storefronts to be loaded onto iOS devices in, as of March. In response, Epic stated that they plan to bring the Epic's game store as well as Fortnite to iOS in Europe. Sweeney still argued that the new terms for use in the EU were a new instance of malicious compliance and will continue to challenge those through legal routes, blah, 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 blah. So the lawsuit didn't actually change anything. It was the European Union's Digital Markets Act that kind of forced Apple to allow this to happen. Okay. That's cool. That's so cool epic. No pun intended. <laughs> cool story. So th this this <laughs> this isn't the end of how things are going to be changing, but it's a step towards what Epic Wait, is trying are, to do. Wait, are you saying how like how like on the sixth they like they terminated their account? Huh. So on March sixth, apparently, Epic released a statement saying, mm -hmm. "We recently announced that Apple approved our Epic Games suite in the." A developer account. We intended to use that account to bring the Epic Games Store and Fortnite to iOS devices to, in Europe. Uh, but then they said apparently Apple uh, totally just deleted their development account and now they cannot work on their the, the development of the iOS app. But then a few days later the European Commission was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, what? I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. That's that's. Yeah, I'm telling you that that's what yeah, happened. Yeah, but I, I, I have no idea about any of that. Like that, that that's that that's not that's not in what I was looking at. So, and I hadn't heard any of that. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, don't I know. did, I did hear that. Yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know why they deleted it in the first place. Um, yeah, they're like, yeah, at first they said it was cool, and then to our surprise, Apple has terminated that that development account, and now we cannot develop the Epic Game Store for iOS. This is a serious violation of the DMA and shows Apple has no intention of allowing true competition on iOS devices. This is back in March 6th. This is actual statement Epic Games yeah. put out on their webpage. Yeah, Jesus. so I, like in, in between then, <laughs> then and now, I have, I have no idea what, what, what changed. But this... I, apparently something did, and now Epic Games is going to be on iOS. Yeah. So. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. Uh, I think that's pretty much the big stuff with Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, and then really the only other thing that I have on my list here, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but the world's first Dragon Ball theme park has been announced uh, in Saudi Arabia. Wow. Cool. They got so, so much money. <laughs> so there's such a world is going to go to that thing. Yeah. Right. Like, Wait, like, why, why, why like, how is, how is Saudi Arabia the right, like, nothing against Saudi Arabia, just how is that the right place to put a Dragon nothing Ball theme park? Saudi Arabia. I, no, they I just have the money mostly, to do it. That's it. Yeah, and it's it. like, no one else wants to put the money into doing that, which I, ironically, I, I don't know why Japan wouldn't be doing that. But. Right, like, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this seems like it would be more, more something that would either be in Japan or even, like, Dubai. Because, like, Dubai has a bunch of weird shit there, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just hope this doesn't end up being one of those uh, theme parks that the starts getting developed and ends up being one of those random that's, abandoned places. I think that's places. the case. Just... I think that's the case. <laughs> yeah. I think this like going to end up being an abandoned theme park. <laughs> I think with what's going on right now in the world, I don't know if this is a priority. <laughs> <laughs> Especially I mean, in that it, area. Unless maybe this is just a ruse 
And Saudi Arabia is trying to collect all seven of the Dragon Balls to summon the dragon and wish for, you know, something else to happen. That, that's I don't it, know. I think. I think that's you definitely might, it. Might yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely it. Definitely it. Maybe. I I don't know. Josh, you know, you know. what? I think you're on to something. Maybe. Yeah, that, that, that's just... It's just proof that we live in a simulation. We're, 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 we're now in Josh's conspiracy corner on this the, this segment of the show. I mean, I've got a lot of them. I bet. You know. All right, well, while, Josh, so, while, we, while we're closing out the show, why don't you share a few? But here's the thing. Josh's conspiracies are so... They throw conspiracists off. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I mean, the the, the big the big one is is really just like the, the the thing that I tell people just to give them an existential crisis. Uh, I, I I'm assuming, uh, like I know I know Shane knows where I'm going with this, but have you guys ever like thought about maybe when you were a kid and you had an accident that it was worse than you thought it was, and maybe you're lying in you a hospital bed in a coma too. and just you and just imagining too. everything that's happening. You've definitely told me this one. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. That's right? <laughs> but, but thinking about it, like, you don't know. Because, like, you wouldn't you, you wouldn't so. know because I you're in a coma. I to prove, except for me being like alive. I mean, I, and I can feel pain, you know. Or do you just think you can? Oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, I, I don't think it's true. I... <laughs> That's... You're just thinking it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> why? That's why in that right. world would I want like knee pain or anything like that? That's crazy. I I don't know. It's your brain, not mine. Yeah. Okay, but you feel pain too. <laughs> <laughs> That's if I'm if real. It, it, it's because your brain is programmed to pain. think. Your brain is programmed oh, to think that you're in reality. So. <laughs> I mean, it's just the same as the Matrix. Yeah, like, exactly. When you're in the Matrix, you 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 don't realize you're in the Matrix. You don't know that you're in the Matrix. Nobody in the Matrix but, but thought they're in the Matrix. Josh realize that, that you know he's just imagining all of this, but he's still imagining. No, nah, Josh is just Cypher from the Matrix. He's <laughs> yes, he's, Josh yeah. is the one that killed Neo. Going on outside there? Right, right. <laughs> Josh is Cypher. Yeah, I'm definitely not Neo. Like I have not been. I, I, I I've tried I'm to control shit around me multiple times. Yeah. Josh is Cypher for sure. I, I mean, I'd probably end being like fucking Dozer or something. <laughs> Dozer. <laughs> was Dozer the brother that died? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. I would be the other one. I would be the other one. No, be the other be one. The one I'd be the other died. guy. Be you would Dozer. Be the one that died. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's oh, let's be man. honest here. I would be Mouse. Like if I was any mouse? if I was anyone from the Matrix, I would be Mouse. You're not Mouse. Eh. You'd be sad. Nah. No, nah, you're cypher. <laughs> yeah, like you just can't you can't get away from that. One. I don't cypher. I don't think I would try and kill people to get back into the matrix though. Like maybe I would. No, nah, but you would be like, fuck this shit. Let's just get back in the matrix. Yeah, but just give me powers but, and I'm fine. But I would probably do that by trying to build my own matrix instead of getting back into the one that exists. Like I would try and compete with the matrix. Oh my Wait, so Lord. Cypher, Cypher okay, just so, wanted so to be Matrix like ignorant? Apple Is that what happened? And, and Josh thinks that he's Epic Games. And he's, no, 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 no. I'd be Android. Okay. Or Blackberry. I'd be Blackberry. You, you, yeah, you would be Blackberry. Just I, like in, 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 the, in that, like, yeah, in, in that, in that scenario, no, I would be the Blackberry. He's Nokia phone. <laughs> or Nokia, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah, Windows, Nokia phone. Windows phone. Oh, like, I, I would have been I, tiles. I, you get a bunch of tiles I, on your I phone. I would make this thing that, by all accounts, is better than everything else. But because I chose a design that no, that that people don't really like so much. Sure. Like, no, nah, that thing, that should suck. That's one. I, I guess that's one way to look at it. It's I, I'm I'm better at everything except for this one thing. That's why people actually like the thing. That's 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 it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I, I I yeah. I I don't know. I I I guess I'll spend the week trying to think of what I would actually do with the Matrix if I could build one and try and pull. Well, yeah. You know what, Josh? You, you you workshop that I'll, a little I'll, better. I'll, I'll, I'll workshop we'll that next week. And yeah. We'll give everybody an update. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll do that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Jezzer, uh, what, what else do you have going on in life? Like, I, I don't even know what you're doing anymore. Just regular life. Nothing. No, like, digital digital stuff, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Just regular. 
No, no digital stuff. I don't have like a web presence right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Probably better off. It's fine. It, yeah, I'm, I think my I think my my mental health is better that way. But uh, you know, <laughs> I mean that that's almost for sure. Be, being terminally online <laughs> is not great. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, Bryce, what about you? What do you got? What what what, what are you? What are, what are you got coming up? Yeah, we're all probably gonna sit in the house all day. <laughs> yeah, today, listen, so. man, I'm just freaking <laughs> around. You know me. Uh, you know, I've been just doing doing this and that. You know, I've been working on my how's, television how's school? program. I've been doing stuff with ESPN. You know, that kind of job. Ooh, he he. He's... <laughs> it's big I've been busy. All right, <clears throat> so. Espen. But I'm also but, really excited Espen. about but, the California. Too. What's your What's your GPA? Do we Do we need to get on you it's about doing bad at school? Is it really? Yeah. Congratulations. That's That's Thank actually you. pretty I good. Won't be after this semester. <laughs> 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 Wait, are you Are you graduating this I'm year? I'm a graduate mm. student. I've already graduated. Uh, okay. So. He's like, I already graduated. <laughs> <you fucker." laughs> I'm a graduate so, student. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> How so dare I, you? I, I'm, a, I'm in grad school now. <laughs> Okay. Pubs, just, you're gonna do grad yeah. school. You're gonna do grad school over there. Or you're doing it over here. I'm just gonna take it all. On, I'm I'm already taking it all online. He's yeah. just gonna take it ne- all. Next, he's just gonna take it ne- all. Next time you see Bryce in person, you're gonna have to call him Doctor Bryce. No, that's oh, not what. Oh damn. I'm, no, I'm getting my master's. That's not grad school. <laughs> Doctor yeah. Bryce. He's not getting his I don't PhD. I'm ever gonna get my PhD. I mean, the only reason for me to like get a PhD in communication. You don't want your player haters degree. <laughs> The only reason to get a PhD in communication would be if I wanted to become a professor. That's pretty much the only reason to get a PhD in communication. You have to. <laughs> then you got to shave your head, and then we could actually call Why you. Why do I have to what? shave my head? So you can oh. be Charles Xavier. Oh, Charles Xavier. <laughs> we'll, fucking, we'll put and you in a wheelchair. <laughs> if, 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 so you're saying if we were the X-Men, he'd be Charles Xavier? No. I, no, like, Bri- 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 Bryce would be like like if Puck became a teacher at the, the Puck, X-Men school. Oh, <laughs> Leech, yeah. Leech, if Leech became... <laughs> okay. I think Leech died in Dude, that show. All right, well, jo- Josh, no, well, actually, die. no, Shay would probably be Toad. Who would, be, who would you be, Josh? Dude, Shay would, Shay would be uh, Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Shay would be Toad. Dude. So was with Toad the brother, in, the, with the in the new animated series? The 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 '90s one, right? He was, or was he just in the the, the Kitty Pride cartoon? Uh, well, he was in the I movie. Think, I, he was I, in haven't, the I think I didn't was see the him in the one. animated series. I thought I, I don't think I saw him in the animated. Series. I don't no. remember now. It was just Blob. It was just Blob, Avalanche, and Pyro. Yeah, dude, Josh would be freaking like Pyro. Like this dude is, like shows up out of nowhere, and then like nobody cares later. Like. And then, and then he shows up in the Deadpool three trailer. Nobody even recognizes him. Right. It's supposed to be I, this big I, reveal. I hope. I hope. I, hey, that's disrespectful to Pyro. I, I do hope Iceman shows up too, though. Oh. Yeah, I like Iceman. I don't care about Pyro. I mean, I think Pyro I think that great. I think that's the point of him being there. Yeah, I guess. Pyro is great. Okay, I'm, you know what, uh, Cesar, sure. I'm glad you like. I'm glad you like Pyro. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least X Men animated series Pyro is great. They just didn't, they didn't okay, execute so, them well. So he, he, here's something else I asked Shay earlier in early the week as as we were watching like X Men, the original X Men, the anime series. Uh, Bryce, have you gotten to the um, the Muir Island stuff yet? What oh, that? Muir Island is where Moira is. Yeah, at? with Banshee. I don't there, think so. There's that one where he's falling out of the out of the window, and then Banshee's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Banshee. Ah! He's <laughs> just screaming. <laughs> so great. So in, in X Men the animated series, Banshee and Moira were, were you know they 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 were they were together. They're, they're fucking. So they're fucking. if you were to go to the X Men first class universe, first class. can you see that version of Moira and Banshee getting together? Ooh, you know? no. Ooh. <laughs> you're like, That's you're weird. Like, like right was moira and charles never a thing in the animated series they were yeah previously oh yeah, then, so, yeah. he came yeah. he's like he he went to he went to mirror island he's like oh you found a guy that with legs that work i guess <laughs> yeah. huh? uh, hey. <laughs> more or less uh toad was in two episodes of the animated series but apparently one of the episodes he did not even speak he was just there <laughs> Uh, it was, yeah, and, Jay would be and he was a part of, he was a part of the, the group called Children of Shadow. He was never a part of 
of uh, uh, Brotherhood. of Brotherhood of Mutants in the animated series. Uh, and they were in episode 60 and episode and the last episode of the series. That's so that's... he was oh never like he yeah. just was not in the show. <laughs> and we talk about like how like juggernauts in the show where he just I'm the pops juggernaut in bitch. Yeah. and then just like <laughs> the juggernaut he, bitch. he just pops in and does nothing. He like he pops in, tries to like kill Charles and then pops out. Like, That's right. my, Charles. Like, my, fa- <laughs> my favorite appearance of Sabretooth in X-Men the animated series was when you found out that he was uh uh that one dude's dad. Related to Oh yeah. Oh yeah, where he's related to the tech out. virus guy. Yeah, he, and he 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 shows yeah. up at his door yeah. and like Sabretooth is just there shaving and like what 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 are you doing here? <laughs> hey, which also lends That's to the fact weird. that they they still talked about woke stuff during the animated series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Woke. nothing, no, nothing new. Wait, so was there a storyline? Was there a storyline where Wolverine and Sabretooth are half brothers or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a uh, um, wait. Was it? Uh, yeah, there is an. Ep- uh, I just saw the episode. I, I think it was. Uh, was it Weapon X lies in videotape, or was it before that? Oh God, I Maybe. know all the episode names because I just they, watched that's all what of they, them again. That's what they used as a premise for. Not that they didn't use it directly, but for that Wolverine origins movie yeah, where they yeah, were like yeah. half brothers. I don't. I, I don't remember that being a thing in the cartoon. Were they half brothers in the in the yeah. movie? For sure. In origins, yeah. In or- yeah. yeah, in origins. Oh, that's that right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because he protected he protected the, him from uh, the dad getting all stupid on him and shit. Um, I think it was. Yeah, there, there was a. I don't know what episode it was, but um, but yeah, there was an episode where you see them. You go flashback just like in uh like the the ex the Wolverine movie where yeah, you blend all the episodes yeah. start blending together because it's all like yeah, it's all just vanilla yeah. like it's no I, I mean I I've taken a break for a while because like that season two crap I think I think it was after that Gambit episode I stopped yeah. just <laughs> honestly honestly Bryce just jump into the ninety seven series I think you'll you'll that. you'll be huh you don't I want, want to finish the first one I know I don't have to but. <laughs> But there has to be like a list. There has to be a list out where it says, "Okay, you can skip I'm gonna some watch of these." The whole thing, it'll be fine. <laughs> huh? Okay. So, so uh, according to Reddit, so take this with whatever. It's one hundred percent true. Creative salt, you want? Um, so someone is asking: Are Wolverine and Sabretooth half brothers in the comics or other media, or was it just they're not? Or was it just the movies that introduced the concept? I have a hard time remembering. It was just the movie and the cartoon. So in, I don't think they were in the what, One of the responses to this question was they're not related at all. Chris Claremont originally wanted Sabretooth to be Wolverine's father, but that never actually happened except X-Men Forever, the non-canon version of the timeline that Claremont wrote. But in the comics, Hannah, no, they're not related. Mm. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're not related. That sucks. But I, I don't even remember. Like, what, what episode of the animated series was it that you found that out? I don't remember I that. I think... I think they had like a connection. I can't remember if it was see. Okay. brothers. I, I I pulled up the fandom article on on Sabretooth. Uh, secondary antagonist in season one of the X Men the Animated Series, having ser- served as recurring antagonist, uh, voiced by Don Franks. Uh, physical appearance, personality, biography. Great is the son of Jebediah Creed, redneck zealot who beat him for his mutant, mutant deformities as a child. As an adult, Sabretooth had a relationship with Mystique. Who bore his junior son during his time with Team X? Sabretooth left Silver Fox and Maverick to die by sealing the blast door with Omega Red facing them on the other side during a mission. Uh, at some point, Sabretooth began working for Magneto. Um, uh, Sabretooth later tracks Wolverine to the Arctic Circle and sets traps for him, even nearly killing him, but Wolverine gets saved by Tribe of Inuit. Uh, he reappears in the episode Weapon X Lies in Videotape. Uh, that's the episode that you just saw recently because we were talking about the title. Yeah. Uh, how that's that's yeah. like a it, it's a spoof on Sex Lies in video, Videotape, which is definitely yeah. not a, a kid's thing. No. Um. I don't see anything about him and Wolverine being related, though, in the in the show. Yeah. Maybe. So, yeah. Not I, yeah. I don't. I don't, the, I don't think that's a thing. The, they just work together with yeah. uh, in Weapon X or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But uh on that note, it is uh like two twenty now. Uh I know I know some of you guys are on time limits here. Uh so let's go ahead and uh cl- close out, I guess, for the week. Um 
I don't I don't really know what's coming up this week. Like there, there there's Are you guys doing WonderCon? I don't I don't think so. Um okay. we we might go down there for a little while. Uh, but I, I, I have no, I have no plans to actually. I'll, attend. I'll be there. I'll be there Saturday. So if you guys are doing a show, we could probably I can live stream from oh, over there. Oh yeah, that, that'd be that'd be dope. That'd be that'd be great. So we we talked yeah. about doing that because uh, sa- sa- Saturday is also my birthday. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, so I, I, I don't know what's the plan there. The next week here on the high opinion. Show. Yeah. What's uh, so what's uh, the plan so there? Originally, I had wanted to go and do to do. Um, uh, Disneyland. Cause I, I wanted to go check out uh, uh, the the Star Wars Galactic stuff. You n- you never done it. But it's Easter weekend. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah I, it's I, super so, busy and it's WonderCon. Yeah, I've I've been, I've I've been in California now or in the LA area for twelve almost thirteen years, mm-hmm. and I have not been outside of going to like Downtown Disney. I've not been to actual Disneyland. So I was like, well, wait till Bryce gets here and then yeah, you can go. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so after it'll, it'll be like you know you know my two dads. Oh wow, you'd never Disneyland. been to Disneyland. No. no. <laughs> Oh, okay. So yeah, so so that's why I figured. Now I'll I'll w- I'll wait till Bryce is out here. We can go in the fall uh, when 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 it's a little bit. I'll go with you guys. Cooler. Yeah, I've been, I've been to Disneyland yeah. maybe like every weekend. So yeah, I really. Jesus. Um, <laughs> is, the, it's uh, like me and my dad are going to Disney. The the, <laughs> the 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 three the three day pass thing isn't that isn't that expensive. Uh, so can always do that too. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, Toker said, yeah, Toker's awful. It's the, awful, yeah, it's it's the awful most awful yeah. time. Yeah, that's why. That's why eventually I was like, okay, no. So, so then I started thinking about like, uh, like mini golf type stuff, like because Happy Gilmore, you know, like like that fucking mini golf course. I'm like, oh, that'd be fun. Let's go. Let's let, let's see if there's something like that. There's like no like big mini golf stuff like out here in the immediate LA area. There, there's some that are, that are like an hour out that people have said were good. Someone said that the one on Catalina Island was kind of fun. Um, there's one out by Norwalk oh. that someone said was fun, but otherwise, I don't so know. So in other words, you're still figuring it out. Still figuring it out. I'm thinking, I, I, I don't know. I, I, obviously, Bryce, you're not going to be here, so you're, 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 not, you're, you're invited if you would like to come. Or so but, he knows. Yeah. I'm on the uh, way. Friday <laughs> night, we were, talking, we were talking about this in our group chat the other, uh, yeah, yesterday, maybe. Like, I'm thinking maybe just going to like a karaoke bar Friday night. All right. the, like Where the OG spot? Yeah, like, like, like karaoke blue. Okay. That, that's okay. doable. Okay. I, you, should I, doable. Seven, you should sing the X Men theme song. They just, Marvel Studios just released the lyrics. What if there, there's lyrics? Yeah. Here, let me show you. <laughs> What's the lyrics? X Men. X Men. That's X Men are awesome. There's no lyrics. Yeah. Well, no, but, they but, just but, revealed. But, they're they freaking mutants. Well, there, there is this, whatever you want from me, any from me. I'm your baby. Da, 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 da. Oh fuck you, Bryce. The Marvel <laughs> fuck you, Bryce. That's funny. Marvel actually but released it. It's 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 actually the same as I'm Your Baby Tonight by Whitney Houston. Like that, that that's, <laughs> that's, too. that's that's yeah, the same that's song. That's like the alternative kind. Yeah. 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 It's, <laughs> it, it's it's one of those things where like once you hear it, you can't you can't unhear it. It's just it's just there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, that 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 that'll be uh, that'll be it for us for this week. We'll figure out what I'm doing for my birthday later. Uh, uh, we'll let you know. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated because I'm sure people are on the edge of their seat waiting to find that out. Josh will put Josh will put it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, or X. yeah. We'll let you yeah, know. X. I'll 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 I'll, 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 I'll Zeet? Zeet about it? Is, is, that, is that what it is now? Never, ever Zeet? do that again. What is Zeet? 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 Never, Zeet? ever Zeet? do that again. Zeet? No? Zeet? 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 <laughs> oh. But, yeah. Just uh, happened there. We, yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just make this an awkward ending like we always do. Uh, we'll be back next week here on YouTube, maybe also on Twitch if I can get that shit figured out. Uh, next, next Saturday at 1130. Uh, maybe Jezzer will be us be with us from from WonderCon. We'll see if we can figure that out. So so not on Twitch. He's gonna try to figure it out. Well, yeah yeah yeah. We'll definitely be here on YouTube and maybe on Twitch if I can figure 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 out the cross streaming thing. Uh, you could. Can you do can you do it on TikTok also? Yes, we can. We so through Streamlabs, I can go live on TikTok. Uh, but I need I need to, I need to test all that shit out. So so we, yeah. we we try. I just again I'm not I'm like I'm not familiar with the with the TikTok crowd, so I don't know that a show like this in this format would work on TikTok. Only one way to I find it, out. I think yeah, I try. think it works. You we know, what? 
It's like uncharted. It's uncharted ground, so yeah. it actually might be more successful. Maybe, there. maybe. Uh, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? No one will watch there either. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? They just ban the app. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I mean that, that's that's another problem. Like, yeah, wa watch. We we premiere the show on TikTok next weekend. The most successful we, we, we get, TikTok we, ever. We, we get, get like four forty thousand people watching us live. And then next week they're like, oh hey, TikTok's gone. Sorry. TikTok's bye gone. bye. <laughs> yeah. Great. That sucks. But uh, I will, <laughs> will 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 announce whatever's happening on 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 Twitter. Uh, maybe maybe on Facebook. I, I guess people still use that. I, I, I don't I don't I don't know. Big, big Not boogers. on Facebook. Yeah, but uh, Not on Facebook. We'll uh we'll 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 we'll, we'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good afternoon. Sayonara. Goodbye. <laughs>